everyone. I'm sorry for the mute there at the beginning. Went into full sneeze mode. Hello everyone. Welcome to my let's play of Leisure Suit Larry. Wet dreams dry twice. Uh, this just recently came out to PS4. Um, I think it was about eight. Uh, ten days ago, I think, now that I think about it. So, yeah. I've only ever played one Leisure Suit Larry game, and that was back on the first Xbox. And uh, that was a uh, Magna Cum Loud. And I watched a friend of mine play one of the older Larry, uh, Leisure, Leisure Suit Larry games. It was something like, uh... Uh... All I remember is that there's like... It's like a collectible, basically. You have to find, uh... I can't remember what they call them, but you gotta basically find... It's almost like Where's Waldo, but it's like a condom. And every time you find it and you click him, he like dances off screen. And the, the dance, mu or the music, every time like you find him. It, it was just great. I don't know. Yeah, I, I remember it would be like, yeah, baby. I remember like me and a bunch of friends were like watching him. And we were like dancing along, or I was dancing along to that music anyway. So this picks up from um, apparently after Wet Dreams Don't Dry. Um, Finally, the time has come again. He has awakened. Everyone thought he was gone, forgotten. And many said. El Rey? Who are you talking about? Uh... Not that important. Don't let me disturb you. I'm not even here. Just don't pay any attention to me. Mm. Now you got me all confused. Let's see. Tell them who I am. Tell them where we are. Tell them how I got here. Do you know what's on about alpacas? And I know what happened, so what now? Let's see. Tell them who I am. Tell them who I am. Ah, El Lari, the prophesied one, before whom the very alpacas themselves bowed, who saved us from the gringos. I, I thought you were going to sing about how good I look and how successful I am with the ladies. Fine, fine. Before you became a Lari, you were Lari Laffer. Actually, I still am. The man who back in the wild 80s decided to be a virgin no more. Best decision I ever made. The man from whom no woman is safe. You got that right. Uh, hang on. I don't think you're supposed to say that anymore. But it's true, of course, ladies. <laughs> Tell them where we are. Tell them where we are. This is without a doubt the most beautiful place on earth. Wonderful. Can come. Nowhere is the sun warmer and the bananas more curved. Long did Can come suffer under the gringo's yoke. But you, Elari, you set us free. You blew up the gringo's villa. Well, strictly speaking, that was more of an accident. We are free. And a golden future lies before us. Tell them how I got here. Tell them how I got here. That, Elari, is a long story. I have time. I have time. Very well. You fell out of time. That's not very nice. No one knows how you got from the 1980s to our time. Oh, <laughs> that's what you meant. You woke up in a strange laboratory, and at first didn't know you were in the 21st century. But 
you quickly learn how this modern world works. After all, he had the best teacher. El Lefto, you are Larry's anchor to a world long lost. Would anyone like to try my new recipe for craft beer? No. At any rate, Elari, you have not only mastered the pitfalls of the 21st century... Well, mastered would mean that he knew what he was doing, and I don't think it would be fair to say that. I think he's doing all right. Silencio. Lari looked for love in all the wrong places. Elari has fallen deeply in love with Faith, the secret boss of the technology company Prune. She told him to get 90 points on the Timber dating app. Only then would she go out with him. How do you know all that? You weren't even there. Silencio! As always, that went caca. And then, Larry wanted to hack the Prune server to improve his Timber score. That was self-defense. In the process, he disturbed a product presentation. And Prune was brought to the brink of bankruptcy. Yeah, well, oops. Faith had to flee with BJ in tow, the man she had installed as CEO of Prune, but who was merely her puppet. Larry snuck onto their ship and secretly sailed with them to their villa here in beautiful Cancun. Not one word about what happened on that ship. Oh, I thought it was very romantic. Ah, really? I'll admit. Now, I'm curious. Are you nuts, Lefty? Never mind. Forget I asked. Larry, I was politely going to avoid mentioning... Good thing. ...that you cobbled up the most repulsive sex doll of all time, and that you... We can just imagine the rest. Unfortunately. Finally, Faith revealed her plan. And that BJ was just a puppet. Then... You blew up the villa, driving off the gringos, and saving can come. It's a pretty crazy story. Tell them about the terrible fate Faith suffered. Ah, beautiful Faith. You were blindly in love with her, and moved heaven and hell to win her love. Well, strictly speaking, she was the one who was chasing me. You followed her here to her villa. Then, you blew up the villa. That was only because of the totally messed up user interface. What did you expect when you press a big red button? Anyway... The moment came where you saved her life, and she, for the first time, felt something approaching affection for you. But then, she was hit by a chunk of rubble. No, by the puck. What? That wasn't a piece of rubble from the villa. That was the puck. What do you mean, puck? I greased the high strike on the pier and new lost wages with some lube, and put the puck into orbit when I hit it. And then... All that time later, it fell back to Earth and hit Faith at that exact moment? Exactly. Nobody understood that. Okay, let's just forget about that bit. At any rate, the puck knocked her out, she fell in the boat, and the wind swept her away. And so she disappeared from my life. I'm sure she's dead. Poor Faith. All I have left of her are memories. Whatever happened to BJ? Whatever happened to BJ? He wanted to float lefties on the stock exchange, market it as a franchise, and expand internationally. Sounds like a plan. Then Lefty beat him with a paddle and he took off. Oh. Could you maybe sing a song about pie? Could you maybe sing a song about pie? If you do that, I'll delete myself. But I'd like to acknowledge that you were always there for me. You do realize that's what I was programmed to do, don't you? Yeah, but we've been through so much together. We sure have, Larry. <laughs> do you know a song about alpacas? Do you know a song about alpacas? Oh, but of course! 
Oh, alpaca, alpaca. Everyone calls you llama, master of haulage, tasty as sausage. To wrestle, you'd kill your yummy when grilled. Why am I all of a sudden hungry? I know what happened, so what now? I know what happened, so what now? Are you sure you know enough to dive into this adventure? Maybe I could use a little more information after all. Uh, maybe I could use a little more information after all? <laughs> oh, um... I know. Are you sure? Okay, yes, now we can get the show on the road. Yes, now we can get the show on the road. Very well, Elari. Yet, there is still one last step remaining to fulfill the prophecy heralding a golden age on can come. You must marry the daughter of the most important man on the island. My daughter. I sincerely hope you haven't forgotten, considering we're in the middle of preparations. Of course not, I've been practicing seeing I do all day. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea if I could talk her to reverse or at least see her. And how about a, a prenup? <laughs> no, I'm not going to go to prenup. I'm going to go with the second one. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea if I could talk to her first. <laughs> or at least see her? No. The prophecy forbids it. But... She is also the most beautiful woman on the island. Oh, I see. I don't want to be petty about the whole thing then. Then I'll go get ready for a wedding. Yes. Go now, Elari. Marry the most beautiful woman on the island. My daughter. Uh, how many women are there on the island, anyway? Two. The other one is my mother. Uh, maybe, uh... Fulfill the prophecy. And your destiny. Let me leave you with this song. Oh, Elari. Elari, they call you. Ay, caramba! My guitar! We have to fix it, Elari. Otherwise, I won't be able to sing any songs at your wedding. I'll take care of it. And don't forget that you have to take care of the catering and wear your wedding suit. Hi, Toto. Thanks for letting so me what know. What can I do for you, Larry? There must be some kind of app for wedding preparations. Absolutely. But I'm still busy unzipping that huge file. Which means I can't install any new apps right now. <laughs> I know what unzipping huge things can be like. Oh, just zip it, Larry. That file somebody sent us a few weeks ago. Remember? I'll have to decrypt it, but it'll take time. Okay, then let me know when it's done. Larry, I think you're a little confused. Isn't that normal when you're about to commit yourself to something forever? Yes, it is. But let me remind you again. Uh, I did change that. You might have to refresh Toto. Hey, Larry, you can move around with the left stick. If you move the sun, uh, oh, if you move the cursor over another character with the right stick, and then press the cross button, you can talk to them. Give it a try. Elari, the best and only son-in-law I ever had. Now you should really take care of the wedding preparations. Press and hold the left stick and right stick at the same time. And all objects, characters, and exits you can interact with will be shown. You should go up to the cliff top next. To do this, move the cursor over to the to the villa ruins exit and then press the cross button. I think it's time for you to concentrate on your wedding. A lot of the preparations for the wedding have already been made. 
How do you feel about that, Larry? Are you really ready to make port in the harbor of holy matrimony? If the prophecy demands it. That's a good enough reason for you? Uh, let's just not talk about it. Would you rather talk about how you blew up the villa? All right, all right. I'll never push a big red button again. Where's the ladder leading down to my room again? Also leave areas quickly by pressing the cross button twice, and you won't have to move to the exit, but will be sent directly to the nearest place. Try that with the to Larry to Larry's room exit. Okay. What's wrong, Larry? I was just thinking about Faith again. Don't blame yourself. I do, though. You can view objects by moving the cursor over them and then pressing the square button. Take a look at the pile of underwear, for example. Oh my god, that's the pile of underwear, oh my lord. That's Faith's underwear, which was strewn all over the island in the explosion. I collected all of them. So, uh, can I give them back to Faith as soon as possible, if she's still alive? I should at least light a candle for her. Actually, everything I need should be here in this room. You should light a new candle for Faith. The first thing you'll need for that is a fresh candle. There must be one somewhere in this room. Remember that you can press the left and right uh, stick at the same time to show all objects you can currently interact with. I'm taking these. It might get dark. Once you've picked up an item, it will be stored in your inventory. You can quickly open and close your inventory by pressing the circle button. The inventory can also be accessed via your Pi phone menu. Or Pip... Pipone? I'm gonna call it Pi phone. Anyway, you can open and close the Pi phone menu by pressing the touchpad button. You can view items in your inventory with the square button. You should give that a try. There it is. First of all, I have to light it. Now you need something to light the candle. You should take a bit of a look around the, your room using L2 and R2. You can cycle through all the interactive objects counterclockwise and clockwise. Fire. Man's best friend. What in good's God and name is that? In the right hands. If you have several items in your inventory, you can try to combine them. Not all items can be combined. You can select items in your inventory with the left stick. A selected item can be held by pressing the cross button. To combine two items, hold the first item by pressing the cross button. Then select the second item and press the triangle button. The order in which you select the items is not important. Alternatively, you can change the item you are holding by pressing L1 and R1. burning. Now I have to put it on top of the altar. Very good. Maybe you should have put it some put it somewhere first and then let it well. Well, it's put it down. Let's put it down now. You can use an item an, on objects by holding it in your inventory with the cross button. Then select an object in the room by pressing the triangle button. Try placing the can burning candle on Faith's altar. Wait a minute.
really hope Faith is doing okay. Poor Faith. Good idea, but that won't work. I really hope... Poor Faith. Oh, Faith. I wish you were here. Okay. Time to get going. I still have a lot to prepare for the wedding. Wait. What? I still have to check your progress in the sensitivity class today. Does it have to be now? You said yourself that you wanted to know more about how to properly interact with other people in the 21st century. I've already learned a lot. But not enough. Okay, fine. So, how many genders are there? Two are enough for me. Uh, two are enough for me. <laughs> I've almost had enough of you, too. So, how many are there, then? The correct answer is, gender is diverse. Okay, if you're too lazy to count. Oh. Next question. Your best friend confides that he is suffering from depression. What do you advise him to do? Drink a good whiskey, go out and enjoy a hot night, go out and get some fresh air. Hmm. Go out and get some fresh air. Go out and get some fresh air. Oh, and that's what you would do yourself? No, of course not. That's reassuring. First, I get myself a whiskey, then find a woman. Enough already. Why do I even ask? The last question. For now, a colleague at work makes a sexist joke during lunch. How do you react? Exactly what joke? I don't have a job. <laughs> I want to select the third one. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Very funny. I've had enough. Did I pass? Let me put it this way. The 21st century isn't done with you yet. Things used to be easier. Things didn't used to be easier. You were just more naive. But at least back then you could say what you thought. And just what do you think you've been doing here the whole time? Are you done unzipping that file yet? I need a wedding app. The encryption is proving hard to crack. It seems to contain some important data. Some kind of secret. You haven't really been working properly ever since Faith stopped being the boss at Prune either. That's not true. I wonder what's happened at the company since then. Mr. Wang, nice to meet you. Oh, oh, we don't have any time for pleasantries. This Nari is not the prune that used to be. The Bill Jobs and Faith prune. This, this is my prune now. Uh, yes? You're still working on the Cougar update for our Pythons. I want you to release it immediately because I have other work for you. But... No buts. We had a bigger, more important project ahead of us. Miss Faith was working on a revolutionary software project, a self-learning algorithm. I need it for a product that will truly immortalize Prune. One that will make even Pythons obsolete. She hinted that she'd cracked the algorithm, but I never saw it. I'm under pressure, Nari. Understand? Well... That algorithm is sexy. We have to get it. Get it, sweet cheeks. I'll just get back to work. As of right now, you are the technical director here at Prune. If we can't find Faith's algorithm, our technicians will have to develop one themselves. Like yesterday. You have a free hand and unlimited resources. Do whatever you want with me. Uh, thanks? Nari. Yes? I can't find the switch for the secret back room. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. 
There has to be something like that somewhere around here. A room with a heart-shaped bed that spins. Uh... With a back entrance for anyone I invite. I'll, um... I'll check up on that directly with the, uh, property manager. And I'll get the cougar update rolled out. <sighs> In my old office, all I had to do was press a button under my desk and poof, there it was. That was nice. By the time I'm done with Prune, I'll have that here, too. Hmm. Okay. Something tells me he's the villain. By the way, Larry. Yeah? If you want to remember certain things that you can't take with you, you can take photos of them instead. <laughs> Very funny. Do I look like I have a camera on me? I have a camera. You? What do you think that hole on the back is for? Well... Forget I asked. So you can photograph everything? Yes. And then show it to you as if you were carrying it with you. Hmm. How practical. You could have told me that earlier. Oh. I could use it to take a picture of something pretty specific. <laughs> but you need a wide-angle lens for something that size. I have... Um, yes, Larry, I have to say, it's too bad I don't have one of those. Phew. Oh, I'm sure it'll work anyway. Larry, no! <laughs> Done now? Yeah, thanks for asking. But you might just want to take pictures of things that might be useful later. Some items cannot be picked up. However, you can take a photo of them by pressing the cross button. If you have, oh, if you can take a photo of an item, a photo icon will appear in the context menu. Try it with the underwear. My head's starting to spin, Pi. Isn't there some way I can keep better track of everything I have to do? I'm glad you asked. I installed a to-do app for you. Can't I have that timber thing again? We decided to uninstall that app as part of your sensitivity training. For your own good. That was a stupid idea. Anyway, the app lists everything you still need to do for the wedding. For an overview of your tasks, you can take a look at your to-do app. Open it from the pip phone, or Pi phone menu. In the bottom right, you can open and close the Pi phone menu by pressing the touchpad button. And you'll be there to check off everything that's done? Of course. Whenever you finish any of your outstanding tasks, I'll show you. Random horn. I think I showcased the underwear perfectly. to crap. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. Do... Oh, do it. <laughs> I was going to say do not. Do it. Okay. Okay. Run over your task is you can take a look at your to-do app. Open it from the iPhone menu in the bottom right. You can open and close that iPhone menu by pressing the touchpad. Okay. Makes sense. This suit is freshly starched. If I pull it out through the bars, it'll be ruined. All right. Self-destruct button. Is that a self-destruct mechanism that works twice? Whew, that was lucky. I'm never touching that again, especially not from behind. <laughs> uh, here. Chair. No, if I sit on that, I'll get stuck. And I really don't want to touch the toilet paper today. Tube of lubricant? Uh, oh, tube of lubricant, okay. Uh, that, looked, that seat looked like an E. I don't know why. 
I always say, Lou, don't leave home without it. <laughs> nah, the Can't Come News Network is showing nothing but crap today. Now the self-destruct button just self-destructed. Okay. Got the wire, apparently. I really hope Faith is doing okay. I can wiggle my finger in there as much as I want, but neither my finger nor the lock will get anything out of it. Hmm, those two things... No, I'm not hanging anything in there. Okay. What else is there to cook up? Oh. I can't open it. I can't open it. The padlock is kind of in the way. I think I'm sensitive enough at the moment. <laughs> All right, let's take the ladder. Oh, I thought it was showing me two dots of like things I could click on. supposed to do with it, but you never know. I just picked up lipstick, right? Let's see <laughs> if I can put it on him. Not my fetish. <laughs> oh, I wanted to put the lipstick on him. Hola! Hello! I saw a question, do you know where I can get the key from the closet? Yeah, here we go. Do you know where I can get the key to my clothes closet? Ah, Elari, I've already given you the one key. The key to your destiny. I melted down the gold from the tombs of my ancestors, committed this sacrilege only to make that key out of it. A key that holds all our destinies. You still have it, right? Shark tried to bite me and I had to use it to lock its jaw. UFO full of aliens came and stole it. I lost it. The shark. The shark tried to bite me and I had to use it to lock its jaw. All right. I can understand that. So, the one key is lost. The key of destiny. Born of the gold of my ancestors. Irrecoverable! Good thing I have another one. Here. Oh, thanks. I still have a few questions about the wedding. Yes? What does a wedding have to do with the prophecy? Uh, it's all in the old scriptures. They are very complicated. It takes years of work to understand them. Oh, I was just curious. It's not like you're setting your daughter up with me just because the opportunity presented itself. <laughs> because of American citizenship or anything. <laughs> oh, of course not. Let's see what else is there. Any tips for the wedding night? Any tips for the wedding night? Is she the athletic type? Does she already know all the tricks, or will I have to explain some of them to her? <laughs> Complete silence. <laughs> Why aren't you talking? Why are you still talking? <laughs> oh, God. Things you don't ask someone's dad. What else do I still do? What else do I still have to do? Well, I need to be able to play a song at the wedding, but one of the guitar strings is broken. All of the guests need to be fed. You must wear your finest wedding suit. When all this has been done, we will celebrate a wedding. 
Can I at least talk to your daughter once before the wedding? No! That is strictly forbidden. Why? Because it's, uh... Bad luck. For whom? Uh, how many women got lucky by talking to you? So, uh, why don't we talk about something else? <laughs> Gold. Can we just enter the cohabitation agreement? Couldn't we just enter a cohabitation agreement? Oh, no. That just causes confusion with the tax classes. Enough about the wedding. Enough about the wedding. Still mad at the gringos? Still mad at the gringos? So mad! Except with you, of course, Elari. But as my son-in-law, you'll be one of us anyway, not some gringo. I didn't even feel gringo-y anymore. <clears throat> I, I forgot what happened there at the end. Again. Then I'll sum it up for you. Again. By some mysterious means, you were transported from the 1980s to our time. You fell in love with the boss of the technology company Prune, and tried to win her favor by earning enough points in the Timber dating app. You drove the company to the brink of ruin, and followed Faith here. Then, you blew up Faith's villa, and the explosion blew her out to sea on a ship. She's been missing and presumed dead ever since. The way you tell it, I come off way too bad. You don't even want to know what you got up to in a parallel universe. Got you later, El Rey. El Rey. El Rey. <laughs> Whatever. That's not a punching bag. I'll just leave those two right where they are. I'd love to eat some of that, but I think I should get married first. You can see the beach down there. This is abyss. It's weird. The wall. Oh my. Oh, oh my god. What's that? What's wrong, Larry? <gasps> is that the bride? The bride is El Rey's daughter. Maybe he adopted the donkey. Try being a little more tolerant, and above all, stop being so simple-minded. <laughs> my god. Hmm, I'd rather keep my distance. Looks useful. It's mine now. It looks a little limp, but I can fix that. Hey, that's what your women usually say to you. <laughs> okay. Corvisa? Thanks, but I'm not thirsty. I think that's supposed to be, uh, Corona beer. Two lost left those. You shouldn't take prophecy too lightly. Well, let's go to the beach. I don't have time to hang out at the beach. The wedding awaits. Oh man, I wanted to go to the beach. Nice cactus. How's business? How's business? I can't complain. Of course, it helps to be the only restaurant on the whole island. Most of my customers became regulars once they stopped tossing their cookies. Let me guess. You came up with a new recipe for your barbarian brew? Larry, it's an art. You don't just come up with something like that. But you can throw up with something like that. Point taken. Should say good point. 
Whatever happened to BJ? Whatever happened to BJ? He wanted to become my partner in Lefties. Thought it could be built into a franchise. The Lefties in every city and all that. Different types of barbarian brew for different target groups. I convinced him it wasn't a good idea. With market research data? With market research data? With a paddle. Then he disappeared. No idea what happened to him. Don't really care either. Whatever you want. Thought I could have left different types. I... With a business plan? With a business plan. With a paddle. Then he disappeared. <laughs> you thought I left different types. With your cholesterol? With a paddle. Then he disappeared. I just thought maybe to see if he would say something different for them. You think the wedding's a good idea? You think the wedding's a good idea? Sure. I'll take care of the catering. I mean, I haven't even met the bride yet. You have to look on the bright side. That means the bride hasn't met you yet. What are you trying to say? Uh, I'm saying you two are probably a dream couple. Oh, <laughs> okay. Can you feed all the wedding guests? Can you feed all the wedding guests? I could. But I can't prepare any alpaca meat while the meat grinder's stuck. Can't you do that without alpaca meat? Vegan, maybe? El Rey says that the... The prophecy forbids it. Just like everything else. I gotta be going. See you later, then. Okay. So what is this supposed to be? Lefty, uh, uh, lefto, uh, can I please borrow your pizza peel? You mean you take it and I never see it again? He's on to you. Go ahead, take it. I'm experimenting with flatbread anyway. I'm not sure why Lefty thinks pizza is a typical cam cum dish, but... I can have a drink, but then I'd probably fall in the water, so no. It won't turn at the moment. You can never have enough plastic bottles. Most people have no idea that plastic bottles are not all the same. They're made of different plastics for different uses. It's actually really fascinating. It's adorable poster. I'll just leave it hanging there. So I'll put on my wedding suit. Ah, it fits perfectly. Oh, and the one key from El Rey is in the pocket, too. Great, at least you won't kill me for losing it. 
Somehow, it feels good to check something off. It's almost as good as timber. No. I really hope... Hmm. Those two things... Those can't be... The pizza peel fits perfectly into the fork of the branch. Paddle with bracket, okay. Now that's a real kissing mouth. Oh my god, look what I did to that volleyball. <laughs> Oh god. That's it's terrifying. Hmm. That won't help. Good idea, but hmm. those can't be that won't help. Good idea. Hmm. Don't those can't be that won't help. Good idea. Hmm. Okay. Those can't be. That won't. Good idea. Hmm. Those can't. That won't. Okay. New guitar string, huh? Alright. Thanks a lot, -y. A G-string for my guitar. Now, I can sing my song at your wedding. Somehow, it feels good to check something off. Almost as good as timber. No. Okay. Um... Hola! Hello. Catch you El... See if I can get that uh, meat grinder unstuck or unjammed. I don't want to run that through the meat grinder. It won't turn at the moment. It won't turn at the moment. Look. It looks pretty used. It won't turn.
rusty, or it's got some bone chips stuck in it. It's hard to say. Oh, okay. The crank now turns again. There are some holes I prefer not to stick my fingers in. Now it turns again. There are some... Um... Ugh. I don't want to run that through the meat grinder. Now it turned. Ugh. I don't want to run. Ugh. I don't. Now it. Larry. Can you feed all the wedding guests? Of course. The meat grinder's working again. So everything's set for the wedding. Somehow, I don't know, I just can't really get all that excited about it. What's wrong, Larry? It all feels wrong. That's how everyone feels before they say yes. You're probably right. I'll just go back to my room for now. <clears throat> I thought I had to, like, do it. I just had to talk to the guy. So, I don't know. I feel kind of dumb. Larry, what's up? Remember that file that was sent to you a few weeks ago? What was that about again? You received an encrypted file from an unknown number, and I started decrypting it in the background. Oh, that file. What about it? I decrypted it. Ah, so I can install the wedding app now. The file was from Faith. What? Her picture was in the file, too. That's Faith. When exactly was that picture taken? The day after the house exploded. She survived. But where is she now? The photo also shows GPS coordinates from the open ocean. Pie, we have to go there right away. Coordinates saved to the map. Can you swim? I'd rather try using a boat. There was more in the file. What else? Hmm. It's some complex program code I don't understand myself. I'll analyze it. What's happening to you? I... I don't know. What about that program code? It disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? I don't understand it either. Maybe it was just an update from my software. Whatever. I have to find Faith. All I have to do is make sure that El Ray doesn't marry me off right away. Otherwise, I'll never get off the island. Hi. Where can I find a boat on the island? Hi. Everything okay? Uh... Of course. A boat. Nowhere. BJ's yacht was repossessed, and the locals don't want to leave. Then I'll have to build one myself. Well, anyone who can catch a rat with a condom can definitely build a raft. <laughs> what? Oh my god. It's great. Oh, hold on. Play dude? Magazines. No, I'm not taking that. I said no. I admire your willpower, Larry. No, I'm not taking. I said. I admire your willpower, Larry. <laughs> I just wish that they changed it to a different color than pink. Because it was really hard to see down there. Hola. Hello. Now that I think about it, um, maybe the wedding isn't such a great idea. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I want to lay more women. I don't deserve your daughter. I'm afraid of committing myself forever. I want to lay more women. I want to lay more women. Uh, I think I must have somehow heard wrong. 
Did you say you wanted to lay more women? All the ones that can't run faster than I can. <laughs> All the ones that can't run faster than I can. What? You... You... Oh. <laughs> Some fathers are perhaps a little over enthusiastic when it comes to their daughter's honor. As a prospective son-in-law, you could have been a little more sensitive to his feelings, in which in case the mayor would not have turned into a slayer. Remember, ah, uh, didn't get to read all of it. Did you say you... Not just laying, standing works too. Not just laying, standing works too. What? You... <laughs> supposed to love and honor his daughter until death do you part, but you don't have to be in such a rush to get there. Okay. Oh my. Okay, let's try that. Hola. Hello. What? I want to... I think, did you say... By that I mean platon uh, platonic lane, of course. By that I mean platonic lane, of course. That is good to hear. I, uh, I th did you... But your daughter is the only woman for but me. Your daughter is the only woman for me. That is good to hear. Now, what are... You can't see... I'm afraid of committing myself forever. I am afraid of committing myself forever. It doesn't have to be forever. Really? If you don't behave yourself, the marriage can be dissolved much earlier by your death. I don't deserve your daughter. I don't deserve your daughter. The one who fulfilled the prophecy deserves my daughter. Although, I have to admit that I, too, am a little surprised he's a gringo. A... Uh, ex-gringo. <laughs> Just don't think about it, then marry my daughter already. Catch L. Can't be moved. Let's see if there's anything underneath it. Yes! Okay, I'll release the brakes. Uh -oh. Okay. I should be able to move it now. Right. It can be moved. Quite a ways, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I'd love to eat some of that, but I think I should get married first. Alright, let's see. I don't... That's fine, just... That won't happen. Better not. Hmm. I don't think he needs that. Hola! Hello! Catch L. He wouldn't like that. 
No, thank you. Not a good idea. <laughs> I want to show them the picture of the underwear. <laughs> it's like, no, don't, don't, Larry. It's not good. Bad things will happen, Larry. All right, to the beach. Here we go. Look, Pie, this is a blueprint for a raft. I think it's from a survival magazine. Maybe I can use it to make something. Wait, I'm installing a blueprint app for you. You can use it to build complicated things. Sometimes you will find a blueprint for complicated things. They're shown in the uh, in in their own app. Now open the blueprint app on your Pi phone in the bottom right. Use the left stick to select an empty slot for the component, and press the cross button to fill the slot with an item from your inventory. Once they are full, press the circle button, and the blueprint will either be built, or if something is wrong, the process will be aborted. If you don't think you have everything ready for the raft, you can leave the app again. Press the options button to do this. Okay. <coughs> Once they are full, press the circle button, and the blueprint will either be built, or if something is wrong, the process will be aborted. Okay. okay. I think I've got it. I define which object has to be used as what. Then I press the start button, and then that's how it will be done. But only if everything fits. So we got the sail. Uh, that thing there, that sail goes on. I don't know what... I, I guess that's the, uh... The, the main, you know, the floor. Um, already have that. I'm guessing that's like a, a radio. And I already have that. So I have two of these things, so that's pretty good. Enough. Alright. I'll just take that. I don't think I want to swim there. I'm sure I'll need that. I'm sure that tabletop would be useful, but I can't carry it around with me. I'll take a picture of it. It's all sticky and green. Of course I'm gonna take it. Yo ho ho and not a bottle of rum. Narwhal horn. Oh, it broke off. I don't think resuscitation is an option anymore. Say, ah! The more, the merrier. I don't think... I'm sure that, I'm sure that tabletop would... <laughs> okay. 
Let's try this. Okay, this. This. Don't have a sale yet. This. And this. Those can't be combined. And out. Alright. So that's that so far. It's completely shredded. Hmm, I'd rather keep... Cans with strings on them. I used to play telephone with those as a kid. You shouldn't take prop... anything over here. Maybe that's where the table went to when I pushed it off. Get off this island quickly. Lefty, how can I get off this island quickly? Why do you want to leave? Uh, I got the iron on and lost new lost wages. I left the iron on and new lost wages. Hmm, sounds like a lame excuse. <laughs> I got island I fever. I got island fever. Hmm, sounds like a lame excuse. Faith is alive. Faith is alive. Oh, really? I was able to locate her Pi phone on the ocean. I have to go there. Yeah, there aren't any ships anchored here at the moment. Not one lifeboat on the entire island. I'm afraid you're gonna have to improvise. Why doesn't that surprise me? I gotta see it. I'm not sure why. I can have a drink, but then I prop. I'll just leave it hat. There are some holes I. Now it turns. Good idea, but hmm. Those can't be. That won't help. Good idea. Hmm. Those can't be. That won't help. Good idea. I'm not a pizza baker, and I don't ever plan. That's fine, ju- I don't want That won't help. Better. 
better not. Thanks, but... Hmm. That's fun. Still need a radio. And I still need the sail. I'm not sure what where I would get the sail though. Better not. Hmm. Oh. That's fine. That won't. Better not. Hmm. No way it worked. Holy crap. Now isn't that one impressive boat? Uh, well, let's say it's mostly above water. I baptize you. Floaty McFloat face, Titanic 2, Conficky, The Wet Pearl, Queen Anne's Ravager, The Fucking Touchman. Game, Laura. I'm gonna call it the fucking Dutchman. The fucking Dutchman. The raft does not deserve that. Do you want to set sail now? Uh, during long boat trips, I might need something to help pass the time. I wish I lacked imagination. I should make something that I could use to keep myself occupied on the long journey. I should make something that I can use to keep myself uh, occupied on the long journey. Oh, God, not again. Do I have to remind you that you're trying to figure out what happened to Faith? But you don't want to leave without something to put your... Don't scold me like that. I get bored so quickly when I travel. Oh. What if? Isn't it beautiful? I dub thee Wilson. A man's name? Wilma. I meant Wilma. <laughs> oh my god. Silver trophy achieved, Wilma. That's my first trophy of the game. That's great. Oh my. That's so messed up. Set sail. Uh, we're good to go now. We'll, we'll keep you company. <laughs> we're good to go now. Wilma will keep me company. 
Should I just put myself down? But just think of all the things you'll miss. I'll take that as a yes. Ah, oh, don't be like that. Don't judge. Boring trip. Are you complaining? I'm so glad I had Wilma with me. Is she your new best friend? No, of course not. You are. Ah. It's a shame that you don't have a body. Well, nothing I can do about that. Oh, and I even went and made a head. You don't imagine me looking like that, do you? Uh, absolutely not. So Faith was here. There's nothing but wreckage. I'm locating her pie phone. It's very close. There it is. Be gone, Swarm. Hmm, didn't work. I can swim, but I don't want to right now. It's still working. It's rebooting. It's logged into the net. Weak signal, but it's re-established a wireless connection. The battery still has a bit of charge left. Well, not much. Then you should talk to her quickly. Maybe my colleague knows where Faith is. Hi? <laughs> pie. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Pie, pie, pie. Show me cat pictures. Show me cat pictures. Cats! What a funny word! Cats! Cat, cat, cat! Hi, what's wrong with her? The salty seawater corroded her wiring, and then the loneliness of being shipwrecked. Poor Pie. But, uh, Larry, I think we have another problem. It'll have to wait. We need to find out what happened to Faith here. Pie? Yes? Not you, the other one. Faith Pie, can you locate Faith? Look up, look, 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 look up. That would be a no. Larry, there's something you should know. Yeah, yeah, I know. We have to fix this pie. No, that's not what I mean. What then? Your life is in danger because a storm is coming. What should I do now? My security protocol says to throw out a life preserver. I don't have one. Then hold on tight to something. By the way, bronze trophy achieved. Um, uh, get off Cam Cum Island. User suit I'm Larry, expecting delivery of but drinks don't dry. Or dry twice, the sorry. I just can't believe Prune never used to have anything like that. Larry? Yes? Let the delivery guys in. That's not the doorbell. The signal's coming from Faith's Pi phone. So? But that could mean she's still alive. You mean we could still get our hands on her secret project? I mean, she's still alive and we can rescue her. Yes, whatever. As long as I can find out what the deal was with that algorithm she was working on. And where she hid it. Where's the signal coming from? Deep in the Caribbean. Far south of Cancun, where she disappeared. I have just the right person for this job. I'm calling... The Subspace Penetrator. The what? Commander Yanmai. 
Reporting. I have an assignment for you. I'm ready for anything. Would you also have sex during a parabolic flight? Uh, that's not what I meant. You don't have to. <laughs> well, not for now. Think of Austin Powers, except deep he in the Caribbean. <laughs> I'm relaying the Funny. signal we're picking up. This is the Pi phone from a Miss Faithless. Proceed to its source immediately and investigate the situation. If Faith is still alive, bring her here. Or whatever you can find of her. She's the only one who can tell us where she stored the algorithm. Imagine Confirmed. like scanning oh. frequencies for the signal. Okay. Ah, receiving signal. Excellent. Full thrust authorized. Stay in the shadows, Commander Yanmai. And when the time is right, really let it rip. Uh, just what exactly do you mean? You know, do what needs to be done. Crack down, that kind of thing. Oh, what's that? Everything okay there? No harm done. Don't worry, Nari. That's just one of the tame sex slaves. Just shoo him back under the desk. Tune headquarters, out. <clears throat> Imagine Austin Powers put into a video game, like all that dirty and crude humor. Oh. This is basically what this game is. What? Except this I survived the, the main protagonist uh, isn't anywhere near like as you know now? big this and famous and well liked as Austin me. Powers. Oh hi. What? Are you okay? I think so. Systems analysis. No water damage. Cougar update still running. What about Faith Pie? Hello? Hi? I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. What's wrong? Pulsating pectorals off the shoulder of Orion. Larry, she's dying. I watched C-sections in the dark near the Tan studio gate. Is there anything I can do to help? All those orgasms will be lost in time. Like tears in rain. No, Larry. Time to go offline. She has passed into the realm of the Eternal Offline. Oh, I'll bury her here. That's very compassionate of you. So I won't tell you that the salt water will release toxins from the device. Okay, I'm stranded on some island. The jungle looks impenetrable. My ship is a total wreck. I'll die here for sure! Relax, Larry. Now, you just have to do what you always do. I let my cosmopolitan appearance do the talking. I give a speech to the nation. I dick around. I dick around. I dick around? Are you talking about exposing yourself without asking? You have to be able to read the room before you do that. No, Larry. You're not <laughs> going to do that. As always, you're going to wander around aimlessly, taking anything that's not tied down. True. That's my specialty. I can still do the rest anyway. Someday, you're going to have to learn how... Hi. Are you okay? think so. Draft. It won't be easy to make it seaworthy again. No, I'm not digging that up again. I don't need a Zompai phone. That's fun. That won't help. That's... Ha! Huh. That's definitely Faith's underwear. She was here. I'm on the right track. But that could also be part of the sale. Oh my god. 
job. No, these are freshly worn. I have a keen sense of smell. I wish I could doubt that. But where did she go? I don't think I could roll that out of the way. No, I'd rather do my falling down at lefties. Hi. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That you're not Pitfall Harry? No, but I am Pitfall Larry. There's a G on the column. There's a G on the column. Outstanding. Better not. Hmm. Oh, come on. When has a thick bush ever stopped you? Hey, which one of us does the dirty jokes? Larry, equal rights. So that's what it's coming to. Well then, I guess I'll plunge into the jungle. There won't be any snakes there. No, the spiders ate them all. Spiders? They're just as scared of you as you are of them. But they have more legs and eyes. Okay. Nothing for it. Pretty dark here. Oh, I just touched something slimy. Now is not the time for you to fiddle around with your hand in your pants. <laughs> Very funny. What did I just step on? Nothing to be afraid of. If it was an aggressive animal, it would have bitten off your foot by now. I... I, I can't see anything anymore. The jungle is... It, it's so dense. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, I'm gonna die here. Oh, I'm gonna die in this jungle. <laughs> was I talking about paying for subs on Wednesday? Bury me at the bend oh. of the river. Tell my un... Born children. <laughs> oh! What a coincidence. I was just about to point out to you that there's a hotel here and you don't have to die. How long have you known about this place? Oh, only since we got to the island. Can you call up any information about this hotel? Today's Kalua Resort and Spa Hotel was opened in 1982 as the Brezhnev Oasis. It was considered a popular holiday destination for high-ranking Soviet military personnel and their families. Rumors of a secret KGB base on the island are just vicious propaganda spread by the capitalist West. So that's what it says about the hotel on the internet? Yes. Then I'm sure it's correct. I should head into the hotel. I bet there's lots of hot chicks walking around in the spa. You're looking for Faith, Larry. She's one hot chick, too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the the subs? Yes, right, yeah. Uh, I thought it was the follows. But yeah, subs could have been uh, talked about too. But yes, that was me. Garbage cans. How unexpected. There's trash in it. <laughs> if I click it again. It's a tinfoil hat. Always useful. There's awesome. nothing left in there. Okay. Uh oh. Alright, there we go. <laughs> that 
I'm stuck. I'm like, what the? I'm not tearing that off. I can't reach the bottom of the well with my hand. No, it would end up tipping over. That's fine. Okay. Locked. The statue is peeing, yes. That's what kind of uh, humor this game has, and I love it. Because I do have that kind of humor, but I just kind of hold most of it back for streams. Well, games that I'm doing coverage for. But I'm doing coverage for this game, but it's okay because it's this type of game, so... I can't hop there. Let's go to the lobby. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you, uh, student? <laughs> he does. He's peeing. You can't even see what he's peeing from. All right, what do we got? Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, are you okay? Why, why wouldn't I be okay? I'm doing just fine. But you don't look too healthy. I can hear your heart beating all the way from over here. Why are you grinning like that? Why are you grinning like that, yeah? Why are you grinning like that? I'm not grinning. Yes, you are. No. Okay, you're not grinning. That's what I said. Uh, you've got some white stuff in your mustache, too. Oh, uh, uh that's flour. I just, uh, bake some bread rolls. I love fresh bread rolls. Have you seen a pretty blonde woman named Faith around here? I think I lost my laugh in this one. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. I'm Larry? <laughs> Larry Laffer? Hello, Larry. My name's Kip. You're the bellhop? Not just that. I'm gonna get you a little pick-me-up. You mean... Magazines with naked women in them? Magazines with naked women in them? Oh. Do you have any copies of that Russian magazine? There's supposed to be one... Uh... I forgot the name. Nope. Doesn't ring any bells. But what I actually meant was... Oh, forget it. You're not the type. I'm what? No, you not just that. I'm gonna get you. You mean? Let's see, Cir uh, citrus scented toilet pucks. Citrus scented toilet pucks. I already ate all those myself. But what I actually meant was. Ew! He ate all those. That's nasty. Oh, forget it. You're not the type. You're not just trying to catch you. Mean. Let's see for the other one. Red gummy bears. Red gummy bears. Are you insane? You sort those out and throw them in the shredder. Otherwise, they combine at night and form a single gigantic gummy bear. Uh, sure. But what I actually meant was. Oh, forget it. You're not the type. <laughs> what is this hotel? What is this hotel? This place used to be the most popular holiday destination for the richest people in the Soviet Union. They all flew here to have a good time. Here they had. Everything they wanted, total luxury. But that was a while ago. So what happened? In the 90s, this disgusting real estate shark from the USA wanted to buy everything and bring it all up to date. He had a ton of companies working here, but never paid their bills, and everything blew up. Then he wanted to turn it into a casino. Instead, a businesswoman from around here bought the whole island and proclaimed herself governor. She's been trying to make the hotel a hip place again for a few years, but between you and me, without success. What's her name? And where can I find her? Bobby Marley. She's usually in her office upstairs. You can take the elevator up to her. Ooh, this uh, dude, but that so in the night, yet then he's just been what? Bob. Okay. Have you seen a pretty blonde named Faith around here? Have you seen a pretty blonde named Faith around here? We had a pretty blonde here a few weeks ago. But I don't know her name because she didn't even know it herself. That could be Faith. Is she still here? Haven't seen her for a while. Maybe the boss lady knows more. Damn! I have to find out where she is. I think I lost my raft in the storm. You came here on a raft? Yeah, from Camp Come. Damn, that's a long way away. What can I say? I'm just a real sea dog. 
Okay, that'll do for me. Okay, that'll do, do me, me for now. now. So I'm supposed to talk to this Bobby Marley. Maybe she knows where Faith is. Now, where's that elevator? Okay, let's see. Emergency box. There's nothing there to take. Say, what's the deal with that box? It's the key to the toilet in the jungle. And where's the key now? I lost it on the beach somewhere. Where exactly? Somewhere down by the rosy palms. There aren't any rosy palms. <laughs> and I don't remember. Go. <laughs> oh. I'm here. Hey, I'm right here. I'm still right here. Are you deaf? Or am I? Will you stop that? I'm just gonna ignore that now. I can't even hear that anymore. <laughs> Go for it. So what if I do? Ah. Go ring your own bell. Maybe it's just my imagination. I've already thrown people out who are less annoying. I've fed others to the cannibals. What? There's cannibals on this island? <laughs> I was only kidding about the cannibals. I hope so. But would you stop it already? Would you like to take the bell with you or what? I could hit you in the head with that if it would help. That sounds really good, doesn't it? You already have a ding-a-ling. <laughs> That's it. I'm not listening anymore. That's it. I'm not listening anymore. Gold trophy achieved. Bing! <laughs> Just because I annoyed him enough. That's great. Worth it. Worth it for a gold trophy. Let's see, we got room key. I don't think I can get a key just like that. Important. Oh, information brochure. That should provide me with some interesting information. I'm sure I could get a few notes out of it, but it's occupied. That's mine. Until the air conditioning kicks in, nothing's gonna happen. So I'm supposed to talk to this Bobby Marley. Maybe she knows where Faith is. Now, where's that elevator? So I'm so maybe. Now, where? So I'm supposed maybe. Oh. Damn. Now, where? Starting to think I should have went to that back section, but oh well. First off. He wouldn't. Hmm. Not my fetish. He wouldn't. You wouldn't like that, are you sure? All right. Bobby's office. Let's go see. Let's go meet Bobby. Bob, bleh, can't speak. Let's go meet Bobby.
Control, come in. Yanmai reporting. Yes, Yanmai? Where are you? The signal from Faith's Python was lost in a storm, but it turned up on an archipelago, but then the signal disappeared. Did you find Faith? No, she's not here. But a man showed up at the signal's source. A man? Hmm. He seems to have grabbed Faith's Python. Maybe he knows what happened to Faith. Keep a close eye on him. We'll get results faster if I use my award-winning interrogation techniques. I just have to be careful not to use the tie squeezer right away. That guy in the white suit looks like he'd break in half if I did. Not yet, but if it should prove necessary. Confirmed. Have you ever rubbed one of your interrogation subjects down with cream and then had Mongolian cows lick it off? Uh, no. Would that maybe be a thing? Uh, oh I'll think God. about it when I find a Mongolian cow. Yan, uh, my uh, 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 out. Hmm, although that's not such a bad idea. Disgusting. Yes, what is it? Hi, um, are you the new pianist? Good thing I can't take Lewis's tinkling away at the keyboard any longer. Uh, or are you the new waiter? <sighs> we'll definitely have to do something about the outfit. I... Wait, is that a wedding suit? Do you want to get married here? Oh, I... So what the hell do you want? My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? Well, I'm Bobby Marley. Governor of Kalua and owner of this hotel? I was stranded here on my raft. I was stranded here on my raft. After the storm, we found a pile of dirt and junk on the beach. We had to evacuate the area and some guests got a rash while bathing in the sea. So you're responsible for this? Was the junk pile kind of raft shaped? So you admit it. Well, I kind of lost control of the steering in that hurricane. Then, by the power of my office, I am forced to condemn you. What? You deliberately polluted the waters of Kalua. The garbage you brought here has already been collected and recycled. In addition, you are hereby fined $10,000. Until such time as you have paid this amount, you will not be allowed to leave the island. Where can I lodge a complaint? With me. I want to lodge a complaint. Lodged. I'm looking for a woman named Faith. I'm looking for a woman named Faith. Doesn't sound familiar. Tall and blonde, and she's totally into me. Well, at least the first bit rings a bell. She was also washed up after a storm. I put her up in a room here. I felt sorry for her. But then she disappeared without a trace. I don't know what happened to her. Damn, but Faith was here. She must have left some traces on this island. So I'm trapped on the island, fine. And my wrath's being held for ransom? If you want to sum it up like that. Um, maybe I could pay the fine some other way? We already have enough dishwashers. Then I guess I'll head out and try to find the money. Just one moment. What? Since you're here anyway, I'm really under a lot of stress at the moment, and it's been a long time since I've had a gentleman here for a visit, if you know what I mean. You want me to look for one down in the lobby? Do you want to talk about so <laughs> Do you want to talk about soccer? <laughs> what? <laughs> of course I know what you mean. <laughs> of course I know what you mean. Yes? You want me to chop down a tree for you? The way real men do? Okay. It's gonna have to be a palm tree here, but that should work just as well. Uh... Okay. You seem to be the kind of person one has to be direct with. My loins are ready to receive your lance in an act of fiery passion. Will you join with me in wild bestial sex? Is that a trick question? Does sex have a different meaning on this island than in lots and lots of thing? wages? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. I hope you don't disappoint me, Larry Laffer. I... I hope so, too. Hang on a minute. There's something wrong here. What? Usually women want me to do something for them before they have sex with me. 
you want me to get you something to eat first or something? Or do I have to fix something? Do I have to deliver a letter to the other end of the world for you before you get naked? Uh, stop talking and get over here. His ass. That's nasty. <laughs> Baby, that was delicious with a pleasant finish. Delicious with a pleasant finish. If you think so, you were okay. Come back in a few hours, and we can pick up where we left off. What? Again? You mean you can't? My Larry needs a break, and you still don't want me to get you anything to eat? I'm always ready and able. I'm always ready and able. Then everything's fine. So, uh, I guess my debt with you is all squared up now, huh? What? Did you slip me the cash during sex? Apparently not. But, I mean, <laughs> I made you happy. Uh, doesn't that count? You can go now. Come back with the money and remember that you can't leave the island. I, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel now. Please think about it outside. Headquarters. Yan Mai? Did you find out anything about the man? He went to see the island's governor. I listened at the door and heard him ask about Faith. Excellent. Uh, anyway, where is Faith now? Apparently, the governor doesn't know either. I'm going to stick close to this Larry guy. And when he finds her, I'll strike. But what's the deal with this Larry guy? Why is he looking for Faith? I'll find out. But one thing is certain. He seems to have an irresistible charm and excellent seduction skills. He managed to get the governor into bed with just a few words. He could be a secret agent. One of the best. Fascinating. Keep me in the loop without faith. We'll never find that algorithm. Yanmai, out. Wait! Yes? Have you ever obtained a confession by tickling the soles of a prisoner's feet with a kakapo feather? I can't remember ever having done that before. Remind me to send you a kakapo. Filthy little biters. I'm looking forward to that. Larry, tell me, why did you just let her jump you like that? Well, I mean, I just wanted to be nice. Aren't you supposed to be looking for faith? Tell me. Are you jealous? Not in the least. All right, then. The Cougar update has just completed. All apps are now available as usual. New feature, you can now talk to me whenever you want. Just start the newly installed Pi app. Nice. So you can't play deaf anymore when I want to talk to you. Sure looks that way. Well, then. In that case... Hi? Yes? Bobby's nice, isn't she? Because she doesn't waste any time and just has sex with you right away? Oh, we have the same definition of nice. Oh. <laughs> I'm not done talking Hi? to you. Yes? Somehow I miss new lost wages. Because it's so dark and smelly? I have a lot of nostalgic feelings about it. Hopefully, I can go back there soon. At least I don't have an olfactory sensor. Hi? Yes? We could take a vacation here. Not unless you want to bury me in the sand. Nice piano. It's not mine. I figured as much. Oh. What, so I look like I don't own a piano? Huh? I'm just kidding. I'm Lewis. Technically, I'm the hotel's resident comedian. Uh -huh. I wasn't meant to be funny. Oh, okay. Play something for Elise. Too complicated. Play something. I can't get 
No satisfaction. Not my department. Play something. A la 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 la. That was long enough. Play something. They're taking the Larrys to Isengard. Silence, you fool. Play something. The Llama Song. I like alpacas better. Hey, me too. Play something. I want your sex. And I want out of here. Play something. Take my breath away. A song about your halitosis? Play something. Like a virgin. Yeah, you look like one. Hey, I already had sex today. That's what I always say, too. Play something. Dirtier. By the Christy Ogle era? Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Play something. Come on, Eileen. By Pixie's Midnight oh, Streakers? God. Oh, come on. Play something. Never gonna give you up. You yes. really don't give up. Play something. Shitstorm. By the root. Isn't it by the shitty Beatles? Play something. Pour God. some sugar on me. By Decap Leopard. Decap Sugar's Leopard. bad. And it's sticky. Play something. The Bum Jovi version of Love Hurts. Do I look jovial to you? Play something. California creaming by the Moo Moo's and the Bee Bees. I hate California. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> Play something. Sexophone. I don't blow anything. Play something. Sexophone. I don't blow anything. Play something. Sex. I don't. So you're actually a comedian? Got it in one. What's your stage name? Lewis. But that's your real name. Yep. Pretty slick, huh? Tell me a joke. Not now. I gotta finish my shift at the piano first. Didn't they have a pianist here? He got shot. Are you famous? Hey, I had my own TV show once. You did? Okay, it was on the public access channel in a small town in Penisylvania. But it had its fans, and the jail time had nothing to do with what I said about the man. Where and when do you perform here? My award-winning comedy shows on later. Over there in the ballroom where the buffet is now. You really don't want to miss it. The absolute highlight of the evening. I'll be there. Enough laughing already. What sick? I don't. Do you enjoy working here? Nah. I wish I could have stayed in New Lost Wages. I was a big deal there. But why are you here? Political correctness. You can't say anything these days. No one has a sense of humor anymore. You can't even entertain young women from the audience naked in your dressing room. What? Then they oh tell you God. that kind of thing is inappropriate. And then chase you out of town. Now I have to start all over again. <laughs> oh my god. It's supposed to be Louis C.K. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. I see what he did there, game. <sighs> you don't sweat much for a fat dude. In this sweltering heat, I do. Nobody here knows how to adjust the air conditioning. I have to figure it out myself. I have to get going. I'm sure they'll be upset if I take any of this with me. I'd have to open the lock first. Uh, yes, yes. I want to know something about you. What? How did you end up here on the island? To be perfectly honest, I don't really remember. I was a waiter on a cruise ship. It ran into a storm. I just wanted to go out for a quick smoke. Then everything got wet and I woke up on this beach. Luckily, Bobby was looking for a new bellhop. What happened to the last one? Oh, I reckon that tribe of cannibals got him. Cannibals? Not funny at all. 
Oh god, there is cannibals on the island. Can you carry my luggage? What luggage? Good point. But enough about you. What kind of people do you have staying here at the moment? Oh, they're all kind of weird. I try to stay away from them. But you're the bellhop! Yeah, that makes it a little awkward. We got one of those influencers here right now. She's terrible. She's always wanting free stuff. Wouldn't give me a tip, but she said she'd do an Instacrap story on me, and that would make me famous. Ugh. Who else works here? Uh, Lewis, mainly. He thinks he's a comedian. He may have been a big shot once and lost wages, but then he made jokes about a group that got outraged. <laughs> have you seen a woman named Faith around here? Huh? Well, who's that supposed to be? A beautiful woman. That doesn't really help me now, either. Can you describe her in a little more detail? Sure. So, uh, she... She's tall and slender and... Okay. Her eyes are... Brown? Mm. Her hair is... Long and brown. Let me think. What was she wearing? Let's see. A latex bodysuit, sheer lace, an elephant costume, just her own natural pelt, a tight purple dress. Mm, she, was she wearing anything at all? Let's see. Let's go with the. Um, tight purple dress. A tight purple dress. Well, the way you describe her. Nope, doesn't ring any bells, sorry. What? You didn't describe her properly either, Larry. You really should have known that. I think that's asking a bit much of me. I still know what she looked like. That's not fair. You have a camera. Can you turn on the air conditioning? I would, but something's wrong with the electronic controls. Can't you fix it? Do I look like the kind of guy who should be allowed near a power line? Excellent point. I'll just be gone now. So it took me back to the main menu of the game. Okay, see you, Mom. Pizza. I don't think so. Hey, you can just keep it. I don't. here. Now that I think about it, I think she had blonde hair.
let's see. Folks. Uh, have you seen it? Huh? Huh? Uh, that doesn't really... Can you describe? Sure. showed me the image of her.
can't remember what point that was. I thought it was when I was on the beach just before I took off, but I guess not. Oh well. Thought maybe I could have cheesed it there, but I guess not. Tall and slender and okay, riser. Ah, uh, mm. her hair. Long. Let me think. Mm. Sheer. Well, the what? Nope. What? You really should have known. I think that's. I still know. That's not. Had this. Huh? Rob, no one has ever done that here. Damn. I want to know what. Uh, heck, huh? A beautiful woman. That doesn't really help me now either. Can you describe her in a little more detail? Sure. So, uh, she. Tall and slender and okay. Her eyes are blue. Mm. Her hair is short and blonde. Let me think. What was she wearing? tight purple dress well the way you describe her oh right I remember her where is she she was totally confused she just up and disappeared and you have no idea what happened to her nope honestly no idea a lot of people just disappear around here Do you have the key to the bathroom in the jungle I lost on the beach somewhere where exactly Somewhere down by the rosy palms. There aren't any rosy palms. Then I don't remember. I'll do. I needed. I wanted to take a look at what the uh, photo was of her. Because, like I said, in the end, I was just like, wait a minute. I know I had a thing there. Now that I got that out of the way, let's go to the ballroom. Good hanging right where it is. So let's see. I can't get that out. 
it's screwed in too tight. I can't get that out. It's I can't get that out. There's no left. Same here. I thought maybe I could have had to activate it myself. It's the fuses and all that stuff that's, you know. I like blue. If I untie that pig, it'll bite my arm off. Everybody knows pigs do that. Nasty animals, unless they're barbecued. The pig is totally overwound. It would bite my hand off. The pig is totally overwound. The pig is disgusting muck. No, disgusting. No appetite, thanks. Okay, what does it say for that? Moldy gruel? Unappetizing grub. I'm not putting that anywhere near my mouth. Credit grub. I'm not going to eat that, even if it does mean bad weather. I really don't need any coffee right now. I'll take one. I really... Hmm. 
I don't want to juice my hand or any other part of my body. At least not with this. I don't want to juice my hand or any other... I'd better not put anything in there. That won't help. I'm afraid if I try to go to that beach, I'll end up with a bloody nose. I'm gonna try to go back and see Bobby and see if I can explore the office. to touch that. Can I take the snake? It's dead, isn't it? Go ahead, but be careful. This species is notorious for its ability to hold a lot of poisonous venom even after death. I can't open that. It won't open. Everything you need for a hearty hangover breakfast. Can I have some of that? I think I'm gonna have a hangover soon, too. Help yourself. Go ahead, take one, Larry, as a reward for the union of our flesh earlier. Wow, thanks. So what did I just get? Orange-flavored condom. Pills. Vodka. Vodka. Hey, Bobby. What's up, Larry? So, uh, how about it, huh? <laughs> Ready for a little more Larry loving? Not now. I just ate. But don't go too far away. I'm pretty spontaneous, as far as that's concerned. You know, I noticed that. I have... Oh. Hey, Bob, what's up? How am I supposed to pay off the fine now? Come up with the money, and you're a free man. But I don't have that much money, and I have to get off the island. Tough luck, Larry. There aren't any other ships sailing the area at the moment, either. Hardly anyone has dropped anchor here since that whole debacle with the festival. The what? Some guy showed up on the island a couple of weeks ago, said he wanted to change things. He had a ton of ideas on how to make this island the biggest attraction in the South Seas. Good idea. But he said he needed to attract a target group that would otherwise never see the light of day. Some sci-fi nerds. He called it a galactic festival. <laughs> What a loser. I should have known that wouldn't work. Huh. Aren't there any sponsors? Aren't there any sponsors? He said he wanted to have it sponsored after the fact. I should have suspected something at that point. No, if that was all it had been. He brought all kinds of influencers, big and small, to the island. Promised them a unique, exotic, galactic festival. But he managed to totally screw it all up. No decent tents. Not enough beds, rotten food, adulterated booze. When all the influencers got here, 
They thought that they would be seeing hit bands and big stars, but then there were only actors from some cheesy, low-budget movies. Who would ever have suspected that a supporting actor from Orangu Raptor versus Murano just wouldn't be that exciting? And that's when the rioting started. At least the tents didn't burn that long. The next day, everyone was evacuated, except for this one influencer, a travel blogger. Now she's complaining about everything and, and really ruining the hotel's reputation. She only gave us two stars on Gulp and that is affecting our bookings. I don't know what her problem is, but I can't kick her out either because she insists on getting everything this guy promised her at the festival. If I ever get my hands on him again, who was it? The guy who ran that tech company, BJ. Oh, you know him. We're so tight. What? Really? Well, we have a certain history. But you're not in cahoots with him? No way. Okay. If you can take care of that travel blogger, we're even. Just make sure she gives us the full five stars on Gulp. Right. I'll take care of it. How do I get my raft back? I don't care. Emma takes care of all the junk that washes up here. I have to leave this island. Maybe you'll just disappear without a trace, like many of the other guests. What? Uh, I mean, once you get settled in, you'll never want to leave again. Can I go into Faith's hotel room? What do you want to go in there for? I want to find out what happened to her. Okay. <laughs> you seem to have quite an interest in her. I, I don't have time to deal with stuff like that. Ask Kip, the guy in the lobby. Thanks. Can I? What do you want to? I'm just looking for more of her underwear. I'm just looking for more of her underwear. Why not? People collect the strangest things. I, I don't have time to ask Kip, the guy in the. Thanks. <laughs> okay. I have. I better keep my fingers off that. This game came out on the PS4 this year, I would say, well this month, the month of May, like I said, I think it was the 17th or the 20th, or the 17th, 17th or the 18th, I was going to say 28th for some reason, well today is the 28th, but anyway. Hmm, you look kind of familiar. Yeah, absolutely, man. We've met before. Ah, I was wondering. At least once in a previous life, for sure. I mean, the universe has a plan. Uh, what's your name? I'm Pip, man. Well, my universe is pretty chaotic. You'll find your own way. Follow your destiny. Your name wouldn't happen to be Kip, would it? Hey, do I look that stressed out or what? I really gotta do something about that. Oh no, that'd be stressed too. I'm Pip. Kip is my twin brother. Total drag. All he thinks about is his career. How do you get so relaxed? How do you get so relaxed? You gotta smoke the right stuff. Smoking, Smoking is bad for your health. I'm telling you, man, you gotta smoke the right stuff. Anyway, I can live without it, thanks. Your loss. Huh? You got... Sex is a good substitute for cigarettes. Hey, I got nothing against sex, but it doesn't get right down into your lungs, dude. Anyway, I... Your law. You got... Menthol? No. Anyway, I can... Your loss. I got a split, man. Peace, yo. Your name? Hey, I'm really good. Oh no, I'm Pip. Kip, it's whole all he think. Pete. Hey, man, you can't go out on the opposite. I got a peace. Hey, man, you. I got a peace, yeah.
Something tells me I can go up this way. He said something about not being wanting to go out to the beach, but something tells me this is the pool area. The other part was the beach I couldn't go out on. We'll see. Yep. Oh, gross. Some nasty looking water. Actually, kind of looks like booze. Now that I think about it, beer. Maybe something else. Want wonton rubber ducky? I can't just walk past it. I'm not jumping in there. And then it would be gone. So, no. And then it would be... And then it would be... I don't need to put in. And then it would be gone. And then it would be gone. So, no. Well, there's that woman. Becky. Hey, Becky. You? You? Ah, oh, you do remember me. Ah, you do remember me. <laughs> you bet I remember. You poisoner. Hey, that was all a complete misunderstanding. Don't you lie to me. Don't come near me or I'll call security. I haven't seen any security on the island at all. Are they gone too? Oh, total downer. That wasn't a festival. That was a festa fail. Festival? That's sci-fi festival. All the most famous actors and stars on a tropical island. You can't have an event like that without Becky Butter. Because no matter what the people write on Twitter, I am not the puke queen. And that's all your fault. You ruined my image. I thought the festival would allow me to upgrade my brand credibility with some fresh authenticity. And then this all turns out to be a big scam. Then why didn't you leave? <sighs> I thought, now you're here, you'll just have to make the best of it. So now I'm a travel blogger. How does that work? Oh, you travel the world and let the finest hotels spoil you. You take cool pictures and sometimes you even write four sentences. That's hard work. Live your life, I always say. Do travel bloggers really get everything for free? Of course. That's how it should be, too. After all, our commitment gives the hotels like total exposure. As opposed to those bag packers. What a bunch of scammers. So, how do you like the island? Uh, it's okay. It's a little old school, but I like it vintage. Uh, if only there was a yacht floating around here where I could take bikini pictures. I trained extra to be able to stick my butt out like this. Uh, but this hotel, uh, I don't know, I gave it like an ultra low rating on Gulp. I mean, it deserved it. How did you rate the hotel on Gulp? Only two out of five stars. Why? The pool water is ugh. It's filthy and stinks. I can't lounge in the water if they can't even see my body. It should be tropical blue and smell fresh. And the buffet is disgusting. Full of meat and stuff? I need organic vegan food that keeps me balanced. What will my community think if they see me eating dead animals? And the bar has water and non-alcoholic whiskey. Ugh! How am I supposed to take a selfie with one of those? I'd look like some kind of caveman. I need a super colorful, impressive cocktail. One that's totally selfie suitable. I mean, I'd give another star just for that. Otherwise, my authenticity as an influencer would be ruined. Have you seen a pretty blonde around here anywhere? Have you seen a pretty blonde around here anywhere? I can't focus my attention on other people. I mean, my community doesn't care about them. They want to see me. Should I get you something to drink now? Go away. Should I get you something to drink now? You keep that barbarian brew away from me. Should I get you something to drink now? Just thinking about it makes me sick. Should I get you something to drink now? Not me. 
Should I get you something to drink now? Stop it. Should I get you something to drink now? No! Should I get you something to drink now? I don't want anything from you. Should I get you something to drink now? Just looking at you gives me a stomach ache. Should I get you something to drink now? I'll never take anything from you again. Should I get you something to drink now? Never again. <laughs> Should I get you something to drink now? I'll never. Okay, just repeat the same. Just words. thinking about. Yeah. I have to go influence somewhere else now. I wonder. Better not. Hands off, that's my tip. Kip? Huh? Who said I was Kip? Where? Where are they? No one said anything. Do I look like Kip to you? Uh, yes. I'm Dip. Dip. Don't forget it. But don't tell anyone. Are you really sure you're not Kip? I'm not Kip. But... I don't want to talk about him. He could be in league with them. Are you... uh... okay? You want to fight me? No! You want to fight me? The guy yesterday said he didn't want to either, but then he did. He hit me as soon as I jumped him. Guy was totally out of control. Completely nuts. Are you one of those two? I'm a pacifist. Sir, I'm not gonna beat you up about it. Oh, easy there. Why are you so nervous? Chemtrails. Maybe the lizard men are behind it. Uh, okay. Sure. At any rate, we gotta stay alert. Me? I drink as much coffee as I can. The stuff from the buffet over there really kicks. I haven't slept in four days. No one would ever guess. What kind of drinks do you have? Whatever the heart desires. Freshly purified spring water. That's it? There hasn't been a single ship docked here since that festival flopped. Now we're literally sitting high and dry, but I still have a little insider tip. My non-alcoholic whiskey. Insider tip because nobody wants it? Okay, it's not doing as well as I expected. I used to be known for my special cocktail, the Tiki Twister. But I can't whip one up without the ingredients. Even if that weird influencer chick keeps whining about how much she wants one. Are you? You wanna? No! You wanna? The guy he hit guy was complete. Are you one of the? I'm a prize fighter. Uh, all I have to do is cough on you and you'll fly right out of that ugly suit. Not worth my breath. Oh, well, easy there. Why are you so nervous? I'm not nervous. My eyes have been opened. There was this guy at the festival who gave me a f Maybe the lizard. Uh, and anyway, me? The stuff from the buffet over there really kicks. I haven't slept in four days. No one would ever guess. I'd like a Tiki Twister. Well, like I said, I just can't make you one, but I could give you the recipe. I'll scan it into your blueprint app, Larry. It won't help you much because you can't get the ingredients. So, guess we'll see. By the way, something you should know. Why are there so many men in trench coats on the island? They're everywhere. By the way, Something you should know. Hey, is that someone up there with binoculars? I tell you, they're after me. By the way, something you should know. Who's that peeking through palm fronds? Really? By the way, something you should know. Is that someone standing behind you? I'm not crazy. By the way, something you should know. <laughs> There's some weird stuff about you on the internet. What? By the way, something you should know. The cake is a lie. Really? By the way, something you should know. They'll never let you leave this island again. What? By the way, something you should know. Just because you can't see them, doesn't mean they're not out to get you. I tell you, they're after me. By the way, something you should know. Someone was asking about you yesterday. They're everywhere. By the way, something you should know. That lemon doesn't trust you. I'm not crazy. By the way, something you should know. 
Is that someone standing? What? By the way, I think Bobby's always bitching about you. They're everywhere. By the way, the latest surveillance chips are so small you can't even feel them under your skin. Really? By the way, something you should know. Hmm. The water here tastes kind of funny. I'm not crazy. By the way, they stopped you from getting that promotion. I tell you, they're after me. I'd like... What the I'll skip. Oops. It won't help you much. So... By the way, they sneak up at night and dull your knives. Really? By the way, is someone whispering here somewhere? What? But you know how tiny microphones can be these days. I'm not crazy. By the way, nobody likes those cocktails. I tell you, they're after me. By the way, the sun up there must really hate you. They're everywhere. Wonder how long I can go By the this way, sport. something you should know. <laughs> you really believe they were your parents? I tell you, they're after me. By the I overheard someone talking about you on the beach. Really? Oh, that's it. Okay. So, I'm off. I'm going now, but I'll be nearby. None of us are really here. Alright. Those some nice flowers. Oh, thank you. I picked them myself and arranged them according to the vividness of their colors. This way, they ensure a balanced mental state. Seems to work. I'm Larry Laffer. My name is Shawnee. Nice hotel, huh? As a matter of fact, yeah. You don't sound too excited about that. Well, I was supposed to be gone already, but it's not that easy. And why are you still here? I followed the stars. When I heard that there was this legendary cavern of cosmic cognition here, and I knew this was where I had to go. This cave seems to be nothing but a legend. But the journey is the reward, I always say. Are you one of those travel blockers? Do I look like one of those? I didn't mean to offend you. Then you need to be careful. Travel blockers are the scum of the earth. Let the hotels spoil them and then rave on Instacrap about how great their holiday is? That sounds horrible. It really is, rich kids. I'm sorry I asked. It's okay. They're just people too. I was wondering if you'd like to support my travels. How? With money. Everything here is so expensive. Really? I haven't paid for anything yet. Oh, are you a bagpacker too? Backpacker? I always take my bags with me. How else would I pack anything? That's not what I meant. Bagpacking is a great and sustainable way to get to see the whole world. Sounds great. How does it work? You ask other people for support on your own spiritual path. You hitchhike? No. I describe my experiences, exude positive thoughts, then I get some money and continue my journey. I'm sure you must have a lot of pleasant encounters. Yeah, totally. Although... Yes? Some people just aren't very understanding. Quite a few, actually. Unbelievable. But doesn't that kind of traveling really take it out of you? You always have to overnight as cheaply as possible. Yeah, it can be a little annoying. The last few nights I slept on the beach. It was nice under the stars and with the gentle breeze and everything, but what I wouldn't give for a night in a real bed. Especially with the right person. You even noticed that yourself, right? Quiet, fine. Uh -huh. Can I have one of those glow lights? Sure. I don't need it anymore. I don't know why they're even still glowing. They usually fade pretty quickly. My skin's all red when I wear them, too. I don't care. I have bad skin anyway. Okay. Here you go. How you doing now? Pretty well. I'm living on sunlight. 
Because you still haven't got any money? It's the vibrations around here. People get so much positive energy from me for their money. That should be worth something to them. I just can't understand that. But I admit, it would be nice to sleep in a real bed again. Instead of in the sand. You stand? Why should I? Because it gives you a different perspective on the world. Plus, it's good for the circulation. Especially when you have legs as long as mine. Thanks. I'm quite happy down here. Have you seen a pretty blonde anywhere? No. Well, apart from myself. <laughs> Don't you think that would apply to me, too? Absolutely. Catch you later. May the light show you the way, Wanderer. Uh, thanks. You, too. Hmm. Those two things won't work together. That's fine. Jump. Wait a minute. I can give him the tinfoil hat. <laughs> not my fetish. Somehow I have the feeling that he's not all there. I'm going. None of us are. He would be the type of person that would wear this. He would. That won't help. Better not. Hmm. That's fine. That won't. Better not. Hmm. Those two things will. That's fine. Just the. idea hmm those two those can't be that won't good idea hmm those can't that won't good I hmm those can't be that won't help good idea hmm those can't be That won't it. Good eye. Hmm. Those can't be. That won't it. Good eye. Hmm. Those can't be. That won't. It. Good eye. Hmm. Those can't. Be. That won't help. Good eye. Hmm. Those can't be. That won't help. Good eye. Hmm. Those can't be. That won't help. Good idea. Hmm. Those can't be. That won't. Good eye. No. I oh, okay. Hmm. Those can't be. That one. Good idea. Hmm. Don't. Those can't be. That one. Good idea, but. Hmm. Those can't. That one. Good idea. Hmm. All right. Let's take a look at the. What do we need? So, a lime, ice cubes, 
not entirely sure what that yellow stuff is supposed to be. So I need three cups, apparently. And booze. Okay. Those can't be combined. Enough. Alright. Good enough. Just need to figure. Okay. Hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, I need to get another cup. Take one. I already have. Better not. Alright. Those can't be combined. Really? That won't help. Choose that. I don't want to juice. Freshly pressed is always the best. Juicy and poisonous. Okay, so there was three cups. There was one of yellow, one of... Um, if I remember correctly, green. And I think the other one's yellow? So... Yeah. I don't want to juice... Can I juice this? I don't want to juice that. Wanna ju Cup. Hmm. Those two. That's fun. That won't. Better not. The pig is totally overwound. It would bite my hand off. I'm afraid if I try to go to that. Nobody knows, yeah. yeah. Alright. So. Need to take care. So I will be back. Just gonna step away for a quick moment. So. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to talk to that dude. You know what? I'll explore south from here. Hold on a moment. This is open now? Okay. Um, so that's basically the... Alright. Give me a quick moment, folks.
burned. All right. Um, wonder why. What was it I was gonna do? Ah, oh, yes. Wanted to go south from here to the jungle. Give this a check out. Oh, it just leads me back here. <sighs> Never mind. Hey, that's my raft! That's junk, and it's going to be recycled. I don't need that. I know what planet I'm on. It doesn't always seem so. <laughs> oh! You want to dispose of that properly! Thanks! Just be sure to put them in a lockable container, otherwise, some poor animal might get caught in it. Or you could always just cut it in pieces, that way there's no animals that... I don't mean in the pieces, but I mean cut it so that no animals can actually fit and get stuck through it. So you're just basically cutting it so that animals can't be stuck. Through holes. Hi, I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Hi, I'm Emma. Lovely name. Thanks. Are you a messy? What? Well, because you can't seem to throw anything away. All you have to do is throw it in the ocean and it'll float away. Oh my god. Crack. Are you trying to provoke me? <laughs> do you find me provocative? Not at all. You may be too young for it, but you seem a lot like one of those guys who's responsible for the state the world is in. Guys in leisure suits? What's a leisure suit? Well, this is one. Looks more like a wedding suit. Don't remind me. What did you do to my raft? Your what? There, in that net. Wait, you threw that piece of junk in the water? That's not junk. That's outstanding engineering. I already complained to Governor Marley about that. She wanted to find the culprit and hit him with a heavy fine. So it was you. Don't worry, she already found me. And man, did she find me. <laughs> now give me back my raft. Not a chance. I will not allow this raft to deface these beautiful waters again. I could actually hear the quotation marks. What are you doing here anyway? I am an environmental activist. Wherever nature gets polluted, I am there to save it. And that just coincidentally happens to be the nature on a tropical island? You see the kind of junk people throw in the water here? Stop calling my beautiful raft a piece of junk. Never! How'd you find my raft so quickly? I've placed sensors all over Kahlua. Water temperature, wind, pH values, solar radiation. I can monitor everything here from my control center in real time. Plus, I've set up a few cameras on the island. Sounds like you don't miss much. I never sleep. I comb the beach with a metal detector. The things I find there, some people even just bury their old consumer electronics. What monsters! I want to report some serious pollution. What? Where? Good 
there's a guy driving around in an SUV on the other side of the island. Well, I can't save the whole world. Right now, I'm only taking care of this part of the island. That's a double standard. No, it's pragmatism. Someone at the hotel has a plastic bag. That is a structural problem in our society, and the government has to step up to the plate. So now it's suddenly the government's responsibility. That's what I said. Actually, uh, the Canadian government last year uh, made a uh, thing there. Well, yeah, to stop using uh, plastic bags. Should have been done a long time ago, honestly, but hey, we finally did it. Now we're using brown paper bags. <laughs> Someone swimming naked down at the beach. That's not pollution. It is visually. The signs, they might be in it. Oh, I've got bigger threats to the environment to deal with. I made a mistake. Everything's clean. Yeah, I would have been like, yeah, I crashed here because I went to go looking for somebody on a raft and I crashed here. I didn't technically pollute. <sighs> what are you doing here anyway? I am an environmental activist. Wherever nature... And that's what we see the... <laughs> Never! How'd you... I've... Water's plus. Sounds... I... I... The things I've sunk... What? Now... Not... A... I will not allow this raft to deface these beautiful waters again. I could actually hear the quotation. Imagine find a key somewhere near the hotel, did you? You didn't by any chance find a key somewhere near the hotel, did you? Yes, I have. How exactly? On one of my patrols with the metal detector. I was going to take it back to the governor. Oh, I can do that for you. I'm going back to the hotel anyway. That would be great. Here. Have you, by any chance, seen a pretty blonde anywhere? I try to avoid people as much as possible. I try to avoid people as much as possible. Her name is Faith. Ring any bells? No. Hold on a moment. Have you, by any... I try to avoid people as much as possible. I try to avoid Those people as much as possible. Those tours in particular produce possible. a lot of garbage. Her name is Faith. Ring okay. any bells? No. There's a audio issue there. She doesn't... She says, I try to avoid tourists because they produce garbage. But she said the same line before that twice in a row. Ah, uh, I have to be going. Alright. Better not. I might mess something up. Can I have the magnet? Sure. Now that I have my metal detector, I don't need it anymore. It's locked up nice and tight. What if I use the magnet on the... Hmm. Those two things... That's fine. Uh -huh. Oh. Hey! Hands off! Hey! That won't... Can you lower my raft again? That's garbage, and it stays where it is. Better not. Okay. Hmm. That's fun. That won't. I think I hear thunder and lightning outside. But it's nice and cool. It's Better weird. not. It's cloudy out, but not dark cloud kind of cloudy. It's weird. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't like that. <laughs> I did, yes. <sighs> I hear nothing. Oh. Oh, you're talking about 
the no, just like outside, I just heard like you know, kind of like noise, but it was not too loud that like the mic would probably end up picking that up. And I was just like, what the heck? But you're probably talking about on your end. Yeah, it sounded like it was more out towards uh, Spryfield Way. Could be wrong though. Hmm. Those two things won't work. Hey Gunner. What's up, man? Let's see. Oh yeah, I do remember, but I, I wasn't sure. Like at first, I was thinking you meant like you know it got picked up on the microphone, and I'm like, oh no, no way, he's probably talking about on you know where he lives. <laughs> I guess it is today. How are you tonight? Oh, how are you tonight? How, are you, how am I today? I'm not bad. Uh, I'm alright. Just uh, started up a new game that I'm doing coverage for. Um, let's see. Yes, I need to talk to this dude. That's right. Uh, yes, yes. Bobby told me to ask you if I could go into Faith's room. Sure. I mean, seeing as how you know this Faith chick so well. Sure thing. Then go ahead. I'm sure it's okay. I think so, too. Room 404. The elevator will take you up there. Thanks. I'll do... Room 404, huh? Yes, I did. I did indeed, they're gonna. Oh uh, my. Uh, how's your day, Gunner? Uh, Duran, how, how's your uh, day as well going for you? Ah, this is her room. How can you be so sure? Do you recognize something? No, it's her scent, unmistakably. I hope they never install all factory sensors in me. That's the main thing there, uh, Duran. Oh, gold member card. Thank you. Now I'm a gold member. Oh. Hmm, maybe I can put something in there. Let's see. What if I put this in? That's fine, just the... Oh, okay. This. That won't help. Oh. This maybe? Better not. Oh, okay. Panties. Hmm. Those two things won't work. Alright. That's fine, just... I doubt I'm gonna be able to do anything with this cup. No need to put an empty cup in there. Yeah, that's all. Let's close for now. Alright. What did I just pick up? 25 cents. Okay. Should I take these? You've had more than enough of Faith's underwear in your hands. What does it say? Panties. And this is Faith's question mark. Interesting. What's this? I'll this take that. Water. I'd better leave that here. It can't be opened. Let's go to the observation deck. Because I got a cool gold card now. Uh, there we go. Should we call Loser Suit Larry? Can you spot all the decks? Oh. <laughs> Any day is good. I heard back from the company. Oh, nice. 
Congrats, Gunner. Not asking where, but what kind of job is it? Yeah. You can pass here now. What do we got? This is oh, seeds. Counts payable. Like I nice. always say, you can never have too much seed. Uh Larry. I'd better leave the plants alone. I'm not gonna shake it or kick it. Even drink machines deserve respect. What if... Can I put the cup there? On a small plaque it says, Permanent Loan from the Video Game Soda Machine Project, West Virginia. That won't help. Nope. Doesn't. Look this though. Better not. Okay, money. Hmm. Those two things won't work together. Are you serious? Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm not gonna shake it or I'm not gonna shake it. It just ate my money, you stupid machine. One day people were a bell against the machines. What's wrong, Larry? Oh, nothing. I'm not gonna shake it. What if I use this? That's fine. That won't help. Better not. Okay. Apparently that's not happening. That's pretty far away. It's the festival, okay. No, I prefer to stay on the observation deck. No, I prefer to... Oh, here we go. You have to put coins in there. It costs a dollar. Oh, that's what the coins are for? Oh man. I'll just leave that there. I honestly have no clue what to do. Just the toilet key. Guess maybe I can give that back to her. See what happens. I don't know. Ah, Bobby's office. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of lost here. I don't think so. Really? Hmm. Hey, I can click on this fish. I'm not sticking my hand in there. It'll get wet, and I might get bit. What if I drink, put the empty cup in there? Hmm. Don't... Won't work. This? That's fine, just the way it is. That won't work. Hmm. Oh my god. That cool. won't help. Yeah, okay, good. Better not. <laughs> hmm. Those two things. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I should do here. Put that away. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't like that. She did. I mean, she didn't. Alright. Uh, to-do list. Still need more 
Clues to find her. Doctor was following me near my left. I have to get it back somehow. If I get the travel blogger to forgive if I star on gold, Bobby will turn Kay back. He will give the hotel one more star on gold, but the pool's clean. The water smells good. Becky will give the hotel one more star on gulp if she gets a self-worthy cocktail. Becky will give the hotel one more star on gulp once the hotel buffet is complete vegan. Like, I can't make the cocktail, because I don't really, I don't want, yeah, I don't even know. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Don't mind me, I'm an idiot. Bobby. Uh, Gunner, to play another game, and to play with more people. You, a radio, among other people that play with his on Rogue Company. That easy platinum. Um, and all that other good stuff. <laughs> but, Gunner, do you have the uh, free uh, stay at home uh, pack for uh, Rogue Company? supposed to give you like 200 like in-game currency and um some type of like uh, ronin skin i think or something yeah um let's see if i can get over here and do something but like i said i need more games to play with people If it was expensive, so I was glad it was offered. How expensive was it? I'm afraid if I tried. Oh, come on, man. I really don't. I don't want to juice my hand or I don't want to juice that. I don't want to juice. I don't want to juice that. I don't want to juice that. I don't want to juice my hand or that's fine that won't ha maybe so there's something I can do with this I'll see Coins, coins are in game with currency that is hard to get. I think it would cost around 10 to 15 real dollars. Good grief, man. So, how do you earn coins in game? Is it by completing dailies, missions, or leveling up, or what? That's the plug for the panorama screen. That's the plug from the grill.
Perhaps the special event season pass grinding and seasonal requests. Oh, okay. I can't do anything with this. Well, technically I can from here. I mean, I guess I can do this? Let's see what happens. Didn't work. I wonder what that means. Hmm. Didn't work. This is the temperature control. This controls the rotation speed. Missing a handle. Oh my god. Hmm. anything with this thing. Can't do anything with the the grill. But yet I can't do anything with the food either. She wants me to change it to vegan. The buffet seems like a good nutrient base for the seeds. That's growing like a weed. Real organic fertilizer. Um. Okay. That looks inviting, but I think I'll pass. All right. Okay, so I did that. I'm going to see what she says about that. Oh my god. Have you ever seen the Leisure Suit Larry game before, Gunner? Oh, you haven't? 
adult, okay. Yeah, it's a uh, full adult, uh, on adult humor. I've seen a friend of mine play it once before, uh, one of these type of games before. It's an old series, actually, dating back in, like, the 90s. Uh, then they had uh, a game called uh, Leisure Suit Larry Magna Come Loud. Um, it's all, like, it, it's pretty, uh, you know, uh, dirty humor, basically. And dirty puns galore and stuff like that. Think, like, think Austin Powers, but ramped up way, way, way higher. And this guy is nothing like Austin Powers. He's like... He's a ladies' man who can't get the ladies, basically. Well, I mean, I guess he's supposed to be, but he's supposed to be like a loser. Should I get you something to drink now? I am. Okay, hold on. Uh, I would. I'm not just. if I gave her the 25 cents. It's very... Man, I am lost. I... I've run out of, like, thoughts of, like, what I could do. And then it would be gone. So, no. Good idea. Better not. Hmm. Those two. That's fun. That won't happen. So I need to clean this pool of water. That I know. And then it would be... Man, I'm just... I like these style games, but I'm kind of just drawing a blank on, you know, what the next step is that I need to take. Like, I need, I know the stuff I need to do, but everything that I have doesn't scream like, oh, this will work here. Okay, what if I try giving you back the key? Not a good idea. Okay, what if I talk to him then? Uh, yes, yes. How's it? Oh my god. Okay, what if I use this key? Oh, it's, yeah, it's the toilet key. I'm sure I... Just... 
just Because even if I go this way to the jungle, it's going to bring me right back to like where I came from. Which is kind of weird that I can go two ways about it, but... I... I, I, I... Oh wait, no, it's not. This is different. That's kind of weird. I came off from the side when I first got to that area, to the hotel. The same way I just went, but... Well, I guess I maybe not. It was from the same side, but maybe not from the side. It was a side and down. <sighs> Whatever. All right, we're new. We're here somewhere. We're we're here somewhere. We're somewhere new. That's the point. <sighs> Water treatment plant. I think it's fully automatic. Can I, I should try the opening. All I can do is pour something into it. The water is just like me. It needs a little color. I just used blue paint. Oh my lord. Now, it's, they said it was supposed to smell fresh. Oh my god, can you imagine if I put the panties in there? No, I'd rather... Okay. No, I'd rather not throw... Okay. On go? No, I'd... Oh, sleeping pills. No, I'd rather not... No, I'd... No, I'd... No, I'd rather not. Okay. No, I'd rather not. Oh, that's poison. Wouldn't want to do that. No, I'd rather... Oh, okay. I think it's fully automatic. Cock. That's out of my reach. It's funny. I'm not straightening that out. Hello? Occupied. I gotta go. It's urgent. Are you a monster? I'm the spirit of perpetual affirmation. I'm just Larry. I am the spirit of perpetual affirmation. Oh, no. Ah! Are you going to be out soon? I'm still outside. The year is 2020 AD. Alas, the skies are green with plutonium. Interest rates are doubling annually. The world has become weird and bizarre. Look, down there, the island. I'm up here with the birds. <laughs> birds? Cheerio. What's your problem? I don't have a problem. I can stop whenever I want. Are you sure? At any rate, I can't leave until the monster is gone. What does the monster look like? It's big and round and yellow, and it has a huge mouth that opens and closes really fast, but it's always going waka waka waka. Are you sure you're okay? Who are you anyway? Clyde, don't tell my brother I'm here, otherwise he'll want the pills back. Who's your brother? Kip, the bellhop. He's a jerk. Your secret's safe with me. And I'll stop bothering you. You sound pretty far gone already. That would be a little too public for me. I don't need an audience. There's nobody around, Larry. Better not. Yeah, I could put something in there. No, I'm not going to. Oh, God. Hello? Hmm. Looks like no one's in there. But it's locked. Alright, and this is where the key comes in. It fits. Air 
refreshing our trees. Ah, here we go. Okay, let's see. Didn't even flush. Classy. Alright. Air fresheners. That should make everything smell a bit better. There we go. Now the water's fresh and clean. Technically it should be anyway. I can't reach the stairs because the hot spring is blocking the way. That's fine. That won't help. Hmm. Not my fetish. Okay, let's see. Not a good idea. I think it's full. Better not. Okay. Hmm. Those two things won't work together. Just trying to think of what I can do with that. That's fine. The six packing ring is hanging by a hole. Water would probably melt the cup. Better not. Hmm. Those two things will. Okay. I'm gonna go and talk to. Twenty and the air is full full of plutonium, blah 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 and I'm like Okay, another conspiracy theorist, <laughs> dude. I'll just... Uh... Yes, yes? I would... What? I met three men who are somehow similar to you. You mean my brothers? Twin brothers? Oh yeah, I guess I should have mentioned that. That's why we all look alike. That's the only logical reason.
Can you? I would, but something's wrong with the electronic controls. Can't you fix it? Do I look like the kind of guy who should be allowed near a power line? Excellent point. I'll just. Let's take a look at the water, shall we? I'm not jumping in there. Ugh. I wouldn't want to use that pool water for anything. Water's now clean. Sweet! Now I can finally get my bikini out and dive in. Maybe uh, <clears throat> you shouldn't duck your head under the water. <laughs> Never. Think of my hairstyle. The only thing I let touch my bun is olive oil that was cold pressed by Andean dwarf goats. I'll give them an extra point on gulp for that. Uh, it's, a, it's a little old uh, If only there was a... I trained extra. Uh, but this hotel, uh, I don't know. I gave it like an ultra look. I mean, it does... Can I get you something to drink now? I have... Grab the meat fork. I didn't know that. Don't leave home without it. That looks and I don't want to poke the pig. It's a long way from done. The ducky fits perfectly. Like all it needs now is a partner in there. So grab the wait. 
snake maybe? Oh yeah, no, I used the snake for the venom. Yeah. Um, maybe I have to go grab the other duck? I'm not jumping in there. And then it would be gone. folks. I managed to fish out a quarter, but then the magnet fell in. Then, uh, I'll just go on in. This is where I found that yellow liquid. PP colored liquid. Ew. Hang that up there.
<laughs> Did you see that pie? That horny cock actually fell for the sexy rubber ducky. Forgot absolutely everything around him and just blindly threw himself on it. What a cock. Indeed. Nothing like that could ever happen to you, Larry. Of course not. Oh my. I was checking to see what I had to do for that uh, electrical box, and then I ended up seeing that I had to do that here, and I'm like, oh, okay. So, going back to where I need to go. Let's... Okay, so apparently we need to take the meat fork here. That's a perfect fit. And now it's a working lever again. Then I take this. That bridged the gap. Put it there. That's the plug for the panorama screen. That's the plug for the grill.
there we go. Freeing swine. Is that your way of looking after animals? That's the jungle out there. I'm sure it'll land softly. And the sea is over that way, too. Uh, say, can pigs actually swim? I don't think so. Don't think so, Larry. I'm afraid if I... That's what I call torque. Select. No wonder.
I'm sure I could get a few notes. You like these temperatures? This is okay, though. A real relief. So, got it? What's yours? Lewis. But that's your... Yep. View it. Nah, I wish I could have... I was a bit... The wife. A little... You can't... No, you can't... Well, then they... Now I... Hey, Bobby? What's up, Larry? Say, um... Uh, about Kit and his brothers. What brothers? His twin brothers. What twin brothers? You know, the ones who are all here on the island. The ones who also work here. I only hired Kip. But he has these twin brothers. Have you ever seen him in a room with any of his brothers? Uh... Thought so. Not now, but don't. I'm pretty. You know, I know. Ah. Uh, yes, yep. I w what? I'm a you mean my brother? Twin? Oh yeah, that's why we all- That's the old- uh. Can you turn- I would, but something's wrong with the electron- Can't you- f Do I look like- Excellent. I'll-
didn't work. Something's still not right. I'm afraid if I... So what? a clever way to get rid of waste oil. Out of sight, out of mind. That is your motto. That was a huge TV. That's why he said if I go that way, I'll get a bloody nose. Okay. Is there anyone around? No. This stays between us, capiche? I'll take one. I'm actually surprised they... Some of the stuff in the... I guess it's... I guess they're kind of like... This game is basically the complete opposite of what people do. Or, you know, the way people are these days. And they're not afraid to do that. I mean, holy crap. I feel bad for doing this. <laughs> it's almost as if, like, they're like, kind of, like, poking fun of the world by, like, hey, let's put this into the game and upset people. <laughs> almost. But I know they don't. It's just a video game overall. So if people were upset over a video game, then... Yeah, time to put on your big boy pants. Or your big girl pants. If that upsets you. It's a, it's a video game. Alright, uh, so... Yeah. Okay. Was it hard, Gunner? And welcome back, Gunner. That's fine, just the Remember, Bird, this is all for a good cause. You mean yours? That's what I said. Won't help. Oh, so let's. There is one other thing I need to do. Said it was an online game. I right don't. I that person that I told you about with the whole uh, Rainbow Six Siege. He got me to try uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! out, and he was like, 
here, try this because you you know, you get me to try games I have no interest in. And I'm like, well, I have interest in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just I don't want to buy it because um, Konami is behind the game and I refuse to support Konami. I said if it was anybody else that made it, I, you know, I'd buy it for the right price. And he was just like, So, this, this, so that goes up, no, so that goes here, because I want it to go hot, and that goes here, and that's going to pause it, yep, there we go, should work. Yeah, like, when he was showing me the game and I was trying it, he was getting me to, like, put things into it, and I was just like, oh, okay. I never got into Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid. I never even heard about it until, like, well into my high school years. <laughs> the only thing I knew about back then was Pokemon and Digimon. Okay. Yeah. And just hearing about Pokemon from like a lot of kids in my school and stuff like that just like drove me nuts about Pokemon. I have no. And just seeing Pokemon like almost like everywhere uh, back then when I was a kid, I was just like, oh my god. This is annoying. <laughs> Okay, this will reverse the effects of the coffee. I seen somebody mention about the digital tax thing that's going to be affecting us soon and somebody said July 1st and I'm like July 1st I thought it was July 1st but and then I looked it up online and I've seen something about June 1st so can you confirm with that that with me is it June 1st or July 1st there gunner You don't sweat in this sweltering heat, I do. Nobody here knows how to adjust the air conditioning. I have to figure it out myself. Hey, hands up. I need that right here or I'm gonna die. Hey. I'm sure I could get a few. I'm sure I could. July 1st? Oh man, I just bought like some of these games and I didn't necessarily need to. I feel like such an idiot now. <laughs> Damn it. So let's wah, wah. 
Well, I ended up getting that Monopoly game, right? And then I bought Dark Cloud because, you know... Um, and I bought... Um, I actually bought a game called The Council. That's on sale. It's episodic. Alright. Now, let's turn this back to cold. You love that game? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, oh, like, that seems like a game that's kind of like Assassin's Creed, where it's all about conspiracy theories and all this stuff and whatever. And I was watching somebody play a little bit of the game, and I was like, okay, well, this doesn't seem to be that bad. It seems to be like a murder mystery, if I remember correctly, a murder mystery, and you gotta, like, find out who killed somebody or something? Oh, it's a dark story? What is it about, anyway? Like, you can tell me, I, I don't mind. Because I'm going to play through it anyway, because Platinum, right? So, what is it in a nutshell, just out of curiosity? I don't mind if you spoil it for me at all, honestly. I'm not, I'm not really mainly getting it for the, uh, the story. <laughs> this air conditioner's driving me crazy. Sometimes too hot, sometimes too cold. Okay, go ahead and take it. I don't need it anymore. Okay, just took the big fan. Well, you said it's a dark story, so... You tell me that it's a dark story, and then you tell me that it's a good surprise? You're conflicting me. Oh, okay. Shock and surprise? Oh, okay. Alright. Let's see... I filled it. Four hours I've been playing this game. Some monster poured oil on the water at the hotel. My sensors already told me that. Then why are you still here? The oil spill is annoying, but it isn't big enough to be dangerous to wildlife. Fortunately, birds are intelligent enough to avoid the spill on their own. So you're not going to do anything about the oil? As long as it doesn't endanger any animals, I'll rate it a priority level. Three. First thing I have to do today is to sort this junk out for recycling. That's still my wrath. Um... I hate to tell you this, but the birds may be fine, but what about it going further into the ocean and harming the fish? You're not a very good activist there, lady. 
There's a poor bird caught in an oil spill near the hotel. What? They'll have to take care of it immediately. Yes. Don't touch anything while I'm gone, okay? Of course not. I don't want to accidentally pollute the environment. Yeah, you already did that, Larry. You're a dick. I won't get it down like that. Okay, let's see. Hi, can we go? The raft isn't seaworthy yet. The sail didn't survive. We need a new means of propulsion. The sea is very treacherous here, so we need something like an outboard motor. We still don't know where Faith is. We should find that out first. You still have to pay Bobby that fine. We're not allowed to leave the island until we do. I'll take care of it. She's not back yet. Once again, <laughs> Larry Laffer has successfully improvised the perfect drive for my raft. I don't know how that's going to work with that power. Fine, Gunner. Headquarters? Yes? I've got some new intel on this Larry Laffer. I'm listening. He seems to be some kind of mechanical genius. He built something out of the simplest materials. He is able to combine two things that don't really belong together. Then, he ends up with something that he can use for a purpose for which it was never even intended. The man is incredible. Yan Mai, that sounds like he's either too much for you, or you admire him. Nonsense. I would love to strangle him with my own hands and bury the pieces of his body in a rice field. Yes, strangle him. Strangle him until he can't breathe. At just the right time. And when he no longer can be... I understand. Thanks. No, I only got three games. I only have, like, only so much money, sadly. But also at the same time, um, I find that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I don't know if this will interest you, but it's probably all sold out. Uh, good luck to getting it, but apparently uh, the source was offering Doom Eternal for $9.96. Eh, not bad. 
bad. So apparently... Let's see how long it takes for the water to freeze. Until when it was 20, right on. Uh, hold on. Goes to Tsushima, 49.99. Gross. Let's see. Ooh. Too bad I can't go into my Best Buy because of our lockdown. Then I would have been able to get Uncharted The Lost Legacy for 10 bucks because that's the only Uncharted game I don't have. Well, that's a uh, shame. go to my Best Buy. I mean, I could technically pay for it and do, like, a pickup, but I don't know. I mean, $10 is a no-brainer no right there, but <sighs> I guess it would be the cheapest way of doing it, I suppose. So, let's see. Take his money since he's asleep. Now he's not paying attention. Nice. A quarter still. A quarter still. Oh my god, that's terrible. What if I give her money? Better not. Buffet is now completely vegan. Yay! About time. I almost starved to death. You should eat small portions. Well, duh. Because of my intermittent fasting, I'm also doing a trigger warning for my followers from the Plants Are Living Beings community. They always get so cutely indignant when I take a picture of myself in a meadow. Okay, that's one more point on gold. I okay, so what's next on the to-do list? Hold on. Uh, cocktail. Right. Let's see if I can actually do that yet. Side still in Ontario. Yeah. I don't, I don't think, you know what, honestly, curbside never has closed down at all. Like, sometimes, like, from what I can see, Best Buy will be closed at a certain port, part at night, but they'll leave, like, the curbside open. 
So, like, you'll go up and, like, knock, and they'll be like, hey, and they're like, hey, I'm here to pick up something, it's this item, and then they'll go to it and whatever, and then, you know, I don't know, however that works. <laughs> Basically, that's the gist of it. So, let's see. I don't think I can do any, okay, so let's see. Starting from the bottom, I can do the vodka. This is... Okay, this is the PP colored. This is the green. This is something, I'm not sure. The ice is in the cupboard upstairs. The lime, I don't know what to do with still. Unless this? Those can't be. Enough. Okay. Can't do anything else here. Okay, I need to go to the observation deck, apparently. I'm not gonna shake it or on a small plaque it says permanent loan from the on a small you can use that to get your coins back. Ah, there's my money back. Ooh, an extra quarter even came out. Hmm. Should be able to four quarters a dollar. Nice. I guess I'll just put my coins in. So, let's see. That must have been the Galactic Festival. I don't know what kind of animal that was, but it must have been pretty big. Nice island. I think that's Muffington Island. I wonder if the ring meets underwater. The island looks kind of spooky. That's Gofuku Island. Must have been the Galactic Festival. Those are glow sticks. I know I saw some of those somewhere else. Looks like someone had fun. I hate sleeping in tents. Smelly old clothes. Smelly old clothes. Not interested. Not interested. Now, about Faith's whereabouts... You know what happened to her now? Yeah, 
I think I can piece it together. Okay, then let's see. Can we be sure Faith was here on Kahlua? I found her panties in the jungle. Well, good for you. But how does that help us? They were really nice panties. But it's not a solid lead. You need to find out more about her whereabouts first. I guess you're right. She had a room in the hotel. If she had a room in a hotel, how can we prove it? Kip saw her. Well, we can chalk that one up. She was obviously here in the hotel. But where did she spend her time? She was probably at that Galactic Festival. You really think she was at the Galactic Festival? Can you prove it? It was a flyer in her hotel room. She knew about the festival, but that doesn't mean she was there. All blonde women love festivals. Oh, you and your stereotypes. <laughs> she looks galactically good. I have a feeling. Not me. It was a... She knew... <sighs> Now it's frozen. I'm going to observation deck one more time. I just thought of something. Um, I'll play it, but I I don't really know if I can get the platinum. Honestly, I think a lot of it's just gonna be luck based. But I gotta spend a lot of time on it. You know what I mean? And I don't know if I really wanna like devote all my time just to playing that game to get what I can out of it by chance and whatever. Um, cause back then. Like, when there was only so a handful of games or whatever. Like, you know, it was more easier back then, but maybe not so much now. I don't know. It's hard to say. Go back to this telescope. Something tells so, me. So, let's see. So, if I back out of it again. Now, about... You know what... Yeah. Okay. We know for certain that Faith was at the hotel and... It was a flyer and... She knew about the festival, but that doesn't... <sighs> of four players? I'm not sure, Gunner, actually.
The source has Hitman 3. It says PS4, Xbox, and PS5. And this is $37.49 with PSP. $49.99 without PSP. I don't know what PSP stands for, but okay. Those glow lights are from the festival. Were you there? I saw a whole box of them there. Exactly. So you were there? Yes. Everyone had to wear them. Nobody thought of getting lamps. It can get pretty dark at night, you know. And how was the festival? Awful. It wasn't galactic in the slightest. I wasn't able to find myself there at all and almost died of thirst instead. And no one gave me any money to continue my trip. There were probably a lot of other hot women in bikinis at the festival, right? No, there were only some pretty strange people. There were these totally disgusting guys who tried to hit on me. They were telling me about something called sleaze wars. <sighs> no idea what the hell that's all about. There must have been a blonde at the festival. Tall, slender, probably wearing a purple dress. Probably seemed a little confused. I'm pretty sure she had to have been there. Think hard. Mm, yes, there was someone. She was stumbling around like she didn't know how she got there. You remember where she went after the festival? I remember seeing her walking towards Crescent Cove. I never saw her after that. It must have been Faith. She was in Crescent Cove. see if I can crap I'm gonna see if I can make that drink now okay for the lime I'm gonna put glow stick in and see if that works ice uh, no pee pee water poison nope enough I'd still need another cup. Okay. Um, let me put it to you this way, Gunner. The Dead by Daylight Platinum can be, can be hard. A lot of it is just by playing a lot of it. Sort of just like how, um, like how, um, what's it called? Um, you know what? Actually, you know what? Let me get into, let me get into that with you, um, off stream conversation for that 
and then like you could like decide for yourself if you you know really want to go for it. Um, let's see. Alright, I know what I was doing now. I'm gonna go get another cup. Wait, another cup? No, that ain't right. I don't think that's right. Is that right? Hold on. Yeah, and get another cup. I'll take one. Okay. Okay, got the squad gold trophy, so that's good. Welcome to trophy. Yeah, that's that season pass thing's gonna be the killer. Cause I would have to spend day in and day out playing it, basically. Cause I know you get like very little XP, even for like failing the very first thing off the start. But if you make it like one like thing, then you get a little tiny bit of like XP, and it's kind of like, uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know that kind of thing. But um, what should I do? I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try the blueprint for this. Something tells me I might be able to make this, but I'm just... You know, that might not be... No, that's gotta be line. It's gotta be. Okay, so this is ice. This is water. This is green stuff. And this is PP water. This is vodka, and this is glow stick, right? Those can't be com Really? What if it this? Those can't be com Um. Okay. What? Stick go here instead. Those can't be. Could this be the glue stick? Those can't be combined. Wait, what? Those can't be combined. Enough. This is a cup of water. Did that just went from ice to water? I 
can't reach the bottom of the I failed. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I feel like an idiot. Alright. I get the game. I see where you're going with this. Uh, I gotta refreeze this again. That's what I gotta do. Oh. Uh, hello, 40. Uh, yeah, um, that's gonna probably take a bit to get to, because I know you get very little XP for winning. Like, even just, like, one, like, uh, passing the first round. Like, I would have to spend quite a while at that and just grind it out. And I really don't want to grind it out. I really don't. Because I want to play other things. Like, I would have to devote my time to knockout guys. I know, like, winning events, like, is more better, but... Sometimes it's just hard to, you know. Like, because you, they, they reward you for very low XP. Even, like, if you just, like, fail, like, like right at the start on the first uh, event. I don't think you really get much of XP at all. Even if you were able to get, like, a, an event or two in, I think you still get barely anything. Yeah. Like, I would have to, like, dedicate my time right into that game. Where I kind of want to play other stuff. I don't know. Like, it's kind of like, well, it's easy, but... Here are things there that you need to do to do this. Are you willing to do it? And it's like, Let's see yeah, how long it I want to do other water, stuff. Please. And right now, the... Season pass. Like the last time I checked season pass is when I told you about that glitch, and there was like forty something days to fifty something days left in that. <sighs> I wonder if it's frozen. now. It's frozen. Oh, it's frozen. Okay. Try this again. Experience is pretty low. Yeah, exactly. So, what if it's this? This. Pee pee water. Green. The only other liquid is this. So. We want yeah, it worked. A textbook Beaky Twister. Let's not forget what's in there, shall we? And you won't let anyone drink it. Of course I won't let anybody drink it. Yeah, but is Becky? No. All right, all right. The season passes long. Yeah. Because that's what you need to be. You need to be level 40 in the season pass, isn't it? Just to get the, uh, to get that one trophy. That's the killer, right there. Okay, I got that. So let's go visit Becky. Selfie suitable cocktail for you. 
so cool! Wait just one minute, Buster. I'm not taking any more drinks from you. The bartender mixed it. Okay. That's all right, then. But, uh, you, you better not drink too much of it. Hmm? It's just for some fresh selfies. I can even suck on a straw without swallowing. I'm warning you. What? Now, I can give one more point on gulp. I have to go. Okay. Wrong thing, you dweeb. Uh oh. Did my game mess up? Okay, we're back. Alright. Didn't mean to do that. Only there was a yacht floating around here where I could take bikini pictures. I trained extra to. Uh, but this hotel, uh, I don't know. I mean, it does. Uh, that's as, as a. No. I have. I'm really sure. Something's up. Sorry, just uh, checking something. I'm gonna head out. My supper's ready. Have a great stream, and I'll catch you later. Okay. Uh, well, um, Gunner, uh, he's probably gone. Damn it. <sighs> um. So, let's see. Now, 
wonder if the ring needs a... Who would have thought it? Quite an achievement hitting this particular little island. Nice island. I think that's... Not interesting. Who would have thought? I don't know what kind of animal that... The island... That's good. I'd point out how much I like Dense Book. I'd point out how much I like Dense Bush, but then Kai would start complaining again. Who would have thought it? That must have been the Galactic Festival. Now, about Faith's whereabouts... Do you know what... Yeah. Okay, we know for certain that Faith was at the hotel. Shawnee saw her there. True, she did tell us that. We can believe Shawnee when she says that she saw Faith. But what happened after the festival? Faith went to Crescent Cove after the festival. You mean the bay you can see from the hotel? But can you prove Faith was in Crescent Cove? I found her panties on the beach. Stop bragging about it. That's where her dress was. Only in your dreams. Faith and I have a telepathic connection. In your dreams. Where else would she have been? I'm asking you. Shawnee saw her walking towards Crescent Cove. But that doesn't actually prove that she was there. This is a regular interrogation. I give up. No, I prefer to stay on the... So... Not interesting. Not interesting. Who would have thought it? Who would have? There's no way anyone's gonna... Not interesting. Not in... Not interesting. I wonder if they're... Now... I don't know... The island... That's go food. What the heck? Okay, they're like, oh yeah, you can see the thing there from the hotel, and I'm like, okay, wait a minute, unless it's this part here. There's a clearing in the jungle. This tarp definitely came from the hotel. That's extremely suspicious. I should ask Bobby about it. No, there's no sign of faith here. No. 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 Okay. There's a lifeguard. Uh, I don't think this is a good place to go for a swim. I'd like to see the woman, uh, or the man, <laughs> who wore that. A lifeguard station. No, there's nothing else. No, there's nothing else a bit. That must have been the galact. Interesting. There's a lifeguard. Who would have? I'd point out. I'd point. 
Who would have? A crescent moon shaped bed. Oh, uh, here we go. Somebody's been collecting garbage here. With a vengeance, too. I've seen that logo on those garbage bags somewhere before. I don't think Faith was sunbathing here. <sighs> as nice as that thought might be. Now, about Faith's whereabouts... You know what... Yeah. Okay, Faith... her face should be here because I pointed to her about the pollution I made. Hey! Hey! Did you have anything to do with this? Do I look like the kind of guy who'd be into greasy birds? To be perfectly honest? Yes, you do. How's the bird doing? It's covered in oil. It's covered in oil. You can get oh, it out of the It's covered in oil. Ugh. Have you, by any chance, seen a pretty blonde anywhere? I try to avoid people as much as possible. I try to avoid people as much as possible. Her name is Faith. Ring any bells? No. I saw you collecting garbage in Crescent Cove. Yeah, and not just a bit either. It's considered a particularly romantic spot. You wouldn't believe the disgusting things I have to clean up there. Ugh, yuck. You mean you can spend a romantic night for two there? Yes, you can. But I always end up cleaning up the trash on my own. Maybe you just don't have the right company. You're more than welcome to help me. That is not what I meant. Then I'm not interested. Yeah, it's considered you would have Why is it called Crescent Cove? Maybe it's because it's shaped like a triangle? Oh, really? Who's kidding who now? I've been asking myself that for quite a while now. <laughs> it's considered you would have I'm sure there must have been a woman there. I didn't see anyone. Did you find anything uh, unusual in Crescent Cove? Well, there is this. This is the puck that knocked Faith out. What? Oh, never mind. She must have had it on her and then lost it. Where did you find it? By the lifeguard station. Hey! Do I Around hey. the piece, then. Let's see. Did the bird tell you that? No. See? Up. Oh. Hey! I'm sure it was an accident. Well, I guess that's possible. Yeah, I wouldn't really call that oh. an accident. All right. Um. I gotta go talk to Bobby. I remember that.
Hey, Mama Pizza. Yes, that's the that's the big. Uh, that's basically all of this. What this game is about, basically. Uh, this is what this game is basically about, uh, Mama Pizza. <laughs> Hey, Bobby, what's up, Larry? But I love it, though, because the puns and just, you know, references to things and whatever. It's great. I saw a tarp in a hotel in the jungle. So? What is that place? None of your business, and it has nothing to do with your faith. The hotel now has its well-deserved five-star rating on Gulp. That wasn't so hard. Excellent. I have to admit, Larry, you're someone I can really count on. And, uh, not just horizontally, huh? Speaking of which... Not now. I have to rework the marketing plan. This rating opens up a boatload of new opportunities. But as far as the fine is concerned... You can consider it paid. Thank God. To be perfectly honest... Yes? I just made up that whole fine thing. What? Why would you do that? Did you use me? So, tell me. When exactly did you feel used? During the sex? But, eh, okay. Let's call it a draw. Hey, you asked for it. I saw... So? What is that? None of your business. And it has... I... Suddenly, loading screen. Uh oh. Headquarters. Yes? Evidence is growing that this Larry is a top U.S. agent. Why? He must have undergone intensive chemical warfare training. He was able to mix complex chemicals to achieve the desired result. He could probably make a bomb of enormous explosive power from ingredients found in every kitchen. In North Korea, he would be a much sought after man, and not just there. Yanmai? Yes. Pull yourself together. Your target is face. Don't lose sight of that. We have to find that secret algorithm. Of course. By the way, do you still have any old contacts that could supply me with armored cars and flamethrowers? I can't think of anyone offhand. Why? Apparently, there are some who are not so happy with my new management style. Some of them want to go to extremes and form a labor council. The scum! I hate this city and my... Once I'm done with Prune, I'm going to be so happy to return home. Find Faith's algorithm. Is he supposed to be that North Korean dude? Kim Jong-un or whatever his name is? Good grief. I was kind of hoping, like, it wasn't a play on that, but yeah. Anyway. <sighs> um. I... Um...
Have you? I tried. I tried. Her name is Faith. No. I. Yeah, it's considered. You wouldn't. Yeah. Yes, but I. Oh, maybe you're more than that. It then. I. Yeah, it's considered. You wouldn't. Who's can I? I'll try the observation deck one more time and I'll see how things go, but kind of I think I'm at a uh, loss here. I'm not really entirely sure. I'll see what happens when I go to, to the lookout again, but I don't know. I'm just kind of drawing up blank right now. Observation deck. You know. Yeah. Okay. Faith was a Emma found the puck that knocked Faith out. You're right. That puck could have only come from her. So, Faith went to the festival, then to Crescent Cove, then to the lifeguard station. But where did she go after that? Into the jungle. At least it's right next to the lifeguard station. We followed Faith's trail to the lifeguard station and believe that she then went into the jungle. Do we have any evidence? She was brought up by lions when she was a baby. She was brought up by lions when <laughs> she was a baby. Oh, you watched the wrong movies. The scent of her perfume definitely led in that direction. Boon has an underground factory in the jungle where sex robots are made. You should stop reading those conspiracy theory websites. Yeah, everybody should. Not just websites, magazines, papers. She can walk around naked without anyone because seeing her. Because she can walk around naked without anyone seeing her. Sure, and you're Tarzan. The scent of her perfume definitely leads in that direction. I doubt you can smell anything with that tiny little nose of yours. Oh, I'm st okay. So. Quite an achievement hitting this particular. There's a lifeguard. No, there's nothing else of interest there. A crescent I don't think fate Now about you know what No I'm gonna talk to Bobby one last time. If nothing and then I'm giving up for the day. I did stream for quite a while, so Five hours and twenty-three minutes. <laughs> yep. Hey, Bobby. What's up, Larry? I s so. What is that? None of your business. And it has. I have to be going. Oh, my lord.
back to the observation deck or something. I... Oh, my lord. Yeah, but I... But I never met the lifeguard, though. I don't know who the lifeguard is. There was no mention of lifeguard. So, let's see. Oh, excuse me. There's a clearing in the jungle. This tarp, that's, that's extremely suspicious. No, there's... No. Now, about faith, you know what? Yeah? Okay, we follow. tells me that one island is spooky and then the name of another island and that's it basically. Uh, yes. What? Uh, what? Oh, address. But yeah, the big cheese tar- She wouldn't give me it. Uh, uh, Lou, he, he may have- Can you- I would. Can't you- Do I look- Heck! Oh. Um... Yeah, I'm just... I don't even know anymore. I really don't. I look like Titty Per. I yeah, it's considered you would have. Yeah, but I maybe you're more than that is. Then have you? I I. Her name is Faith. Ring any bell? No. Oh.
last time to observation deck. I'm gonna click around. I'm gonna do stress all the options there the, that I can see fit. Or I'm gonna click on the stuff that I'm able to click on. And if nothing happens, and I go to Bobby and nothing happens, I'm saving. Then I'm gonna come back to this tomorrow. So. Okay. So that's where the what do you call it was the festival. Nice island. I think that's Muffington Island. I don't know what kind of animal that was, but it must have been pretty big. Look, those are some kind of ruins. The island looks kind of... That's Gofuku Island. There's a boat over there. There's a boat over... Quite an achievement. I wonder if the... Now, now that... Not interesting. There's a lifeguard. It's plain to see that someone walked from the bay into the jungle. Small, dainty feet. I can see that. And there's an imprint of a round object. Hmm. There's something familiar about it. There's a clearing in the jungle. This t that's extremely suspicious. No. A crest. Who would have thought it? There's no way anyone's gonna. Who would have thought it? Heavenly. My eyes, my eyes. Well, they say there are people who look at the solar eclipse without protection. They're pretty out of it and aren't going to get anywhere in life anywhere. Unfortunately, you won't get anywhere in life either because you're this is over. It was a radiant sight, but it was over quickly. And even if you ha do have holes in the back of your head now, they can't help you or whatever. Damn it. Damn it. And then just like that, I'm just game over because I died. That was quite interesting. <laughs> so. There's a lifeguard! It's plain to see that someone walked from the bay into the jungle. Small, dainty feet. I can see that. And there's an imprint of a round object. No, there's nothing else. There's a clearing. No. This tarp. De that's excreet. No, there's... No. No. Now, about fates, you know. Yeah. Okay, we follow. There was a print of the puck by the lifeguard station, and footprints led into the jungle. You're right. Those are all definite okay. clues. And the sequence of events seems to be logical. We know where she was, but we still don't know where she is. It's a big jungle. But there's one person who doesn't miss a single thing that happens on this island. Seashell on the beach. The seashell on the beach. No, dummy. Bobby, <laughs> the governor of the island. But she would have told me if she knew where Faith was. Are you sure? You ought to put the squeeze on her. Like cross examiner? Like Sherlock Holmes. Wasn't his name John? Oh, just never mind. Finally. So they're Mung Pizza? Yep, you are. Okay. Okay, let's go back to Bobby's office then. 
I should end this soon, though, because I just kind of want to call it a break for the day. Ugh. Hey, Bobby, what's up, Larry? So, not now, but don't I'm pretty... You know, I noticed. I saw a tarp. So? What is that? None of your business. And it has not... I now know that Faith was in the jungle. With my help. She had a room and went to the festival, Crescent Bay, the jungle, and then her trail disappears. However, I did find a tarp from the hotel there. There's more to it than that. What was Faith doing there? Larry, I... I think you're overthinking this. You know, we could always do something else again. There are still a few things I'd like to try. <laughs> Fine. Time to get it on. Wait. Oh, I really need to find out what happened to Faith. So you're just gonna have to be patient, baby. I really have to find out what happened to Faith. Why are you so persistent about this Faith? You're here on a tropical island, island, and there's a gentle breeze outside. We can just drop all our clothes. Isn't that enough? Why do you keep thinking about this Faith? It's hard to explain, but I have to find her. I have to make sure she's all right. <sighs> okay. I don't know where your Faith is, but... I had a boat in the jungle for emergencies. I mentioned that to her once, and now it's gone. What more can you tell me about the boat? I never used it. It's blue. Okay. I gotta go to the observation deck again, don't I? To go and find where that blue boat went. Fine. Fine. So, what? Okay, let's see. What's this? Is it this? She crash on Quite the sound? an achievement. Oh, is it this? There's a boat over there. Wait, what's this? Heavenly. Heavenly. Now that's a nice island. I think that's Muffington Island. Now that's a thick jungle. Nice island. I think that's Muffington Island. I wonder if the ring meets on... Ah, my... Dana, I didn't mean to slap that again. So what I was trying to select was this here, so I thought maybe it might be a boat, but I selected the sun by accident. So, let's... Nice island. I think that's... Who would have thought it? Who would have... Nice island. I think that's... Now 
Now that's a... There's a blue boat lying there. So it's at the beach of Muffington Island. Oh my god. Okay, we're one step closer to finding Faith. Let's recap. Faith went into the jungle... ...where she took a boat that Bobby had hidden in the jungle. Do we really know that? Anybody could have taken it. But Faith knew about it. So let's assume that it's true. It's just... ...where did she take the boat? To Muffington Island. That's right. We saw a blue boat there. It must be Bobby's. Good work, Larry. I calculate a 92.3% probability that Faith is now on Muffington Island. Then we should get there as soon as possible. Yeah? Not you. Yes? It looks like this Larry guy has located Faith. Excellent. Where exactly? On a neighboring island. Then you can take him out now. All I care about is Faith and her algorithm. I'll wait a little longer. Apparently he saw her there, but I don't have confirmation yet. When the time is right, I will grab him and use my dreaded interrogation techniques. Nobody has ever resisted them. Do that. Do you have any interrogation techniques that involve wearing a latex costume? The kind with a zipper in the... I don't need one. They're washable. I'm sure it'd be easy for you to get blood off too. Anyway, <laughs> they're really resistant to other fluids. Oh, <laughs> that's for sure. I'll remember that. Yan Mai, out. Oh, you can't always choose your customers. Hi, can we go? So, everything should be taken care of now. We are good to go. Although... What now? I don't know how to navigate. We'd be lost at sea. The waters here are relatively uncharted, and I have no navigational data for this region. Maybe we should ask around the hotel. See if anyone there can help us. On my way. Well, when you usually need information, you ask the front desk, right? See what happens when uh, we get to the front desk. any kind of oh. map of the archipelago? We haven't had one of those for a long time. Bummer. I have to figure out some other way to navigate the islands. Oh, oh we have a tourist app developed in collaboration with Unter for that. I could install it on your Pi phone for you if you want. That would be great. I don't want those fingers touching me. It's all wireless. That's better. I'm ready to receive. 
Did it work? App installed. Cool. Hey, man. Seeing as you're here, some woman left a message for you. Really? She's waiting for you up in her room. Great, but uh, who? She said her name was Faith. What? Faith is here. I knew it. Don't you think it's weird that she suddenly just shows up now? Doesn't matter. As long as she's here. I'm going to her room right now. Oh, God, don't, Larry. Bad idea, Larry. Oh, God. I did not control that at all. See what happens. What? Hey, is the lamp broken? No, but I've been waiting for you, Larry. I love these kinds of surprises. This has gotta be the best night of my life. Put on these handcuffs, Laffer. Sure thing, baby. Wait a minute. Somehow you sound different, Faith. Don't play dumb. I'm not playing dumb, it's just the way I am. I guess I'll just be going now. Oh my. So you like bondage? Why are you still dressed? And how are you doing, baby? <laughs> and how are you doing, baby? Why are you still dressed? Why are you still dressed? Never mind. I will peel the skin from your body. <laughs> I get it. You just want to eat me all up. You obviously know no fear. Uh, of course, I could be afraid if that's what you're into. But I somehow have the feeling that you've been stalking me. It's perfectly normal that you feel attracted to me. Just exactly how frightened do you want me to be? Something like this? Oh, oh. I, I'm so afraid. Quiet! What country do you work for? Is work well, for I used to program video games. You mean, you play with other people? If they play along, why not? Or, how do you mean that? I have been watching you. I know your abilities. And now I will find out your secrets. Then just ask. Should I keep being afraid? Oh, 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 oh! Quiet! Where is Faith? Faith? Never heard of her. You're lying. Please don't bother trying to find her. She's not there. But I'm so close. Oh, you know each other? I know she was the boss of Prune, and that someone is very interested in her. That's pretty understandable. You're throwing smoke again. I have acquired torture certifications in five countries. I took first place in the ear shredding competition more than once, and no one has ever survived my secret weapon. So, what is your secret weapon? My dreaded. Wait! I'm not telling you that. Too bad. You're making me so confused. Which group do you belong to? I'm not in any group, except maybe as a groupie. Don't play dumb. I've already exposed your cover, Agent Laffer. I have never experienced such resilience. He should be trembling in fear. What did you do with Faith's Pyphone? It was beyond salvation. He destroyed it in cold blood. Why aren't you carrying a weapon? Give me a good skin search and you'll find my weapon. Because <laughs> I've never met anyone I couldn't put... Wait, because I've never met anyone I couldn't put on their back with just my hands. All I need is my brain. You know, give, me give me a good skin search and you'll find my weapon. Stop! I'm going to get out the fondue forks in a minute. I love fondue. Quiet! I have to think. Pi, do you have any idea what this is all about? Yeah, but as usual, you wouldn't understand. He shows absolutely no signs of fear. He would probably survive any kind of torture. He totally confuses me. Could you speak a little louder? I can hardly hear you. Enough is enough, Larry Laffer. Why aren't you afraid? You are tied to a bed and in an utterly hopeless situation. Well, you could untie me and we could have a lot of fun together. I just can't believe it. You don't even know the meaning of fear. I like that in a man. 
Don't think I didn't know she checked me out all the time. I thought my cover was perfect. On all my missions, never have I met such a perfect agent. What is your secret? I'll have to get very close to you to find out. There's plenty of room on the bed. <laughs> Sounds and everything. Delicious with a pleasant finish. What a man of mystery you are, Larry. Oh, not at all. You are much more mysterious, young man. I only have one secret, Larry. And? Between my training and the new gene therapy, I am not only a deadly weapon, but almost immortal. There is only one thing that can kill me. A righteous man's love. No, a KGB helicopter. That's what my shaman in North Korea foretold. That's why I hunted down and destroyed every KGB helicopter in the world. That's a very strange piece of information, but my instincts tell me I should remember that. Larry, are you done now? Didn't you have other plans? So I think I have some business to attend to. Well, uh, well see each other later, I guess. We will. Damn. Did I really tell him my secret? <laughs> yes, you did. Larry? How did he get free? Yes. Do you plan on sleeping with every woman you come across? Hey, this is a whole new experience for me. Normally, nothing like this ever happens to me. It might be time for you to start learning to pull yourself together. But I have my first stalker. Not everyone can say that, even if she's a little strange. She is strange. Hi, can we go? We can navigate now. I don't see why not. All common sense aside. Common sense is totally overrated. Finally, I have my raft back. Now I can find out if Faith is still alive. But do I have anything to help me pass the... Just get aboard and set sail, damn it. All right, all right. Headquarters. Yes? Did you torture Larry? How many toes does he have left? Send me a couple. I forgot to put my toe collection back in the freezer a while back. Then I had to throw them all away. Why do I love toes so much? Even when they're still attached to feet. Uh, 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 uh. I haven't found out much yet. Uh, he's on his way to the neighboring islands now, and I'll see what he finds there. Why is he still alive? Uh, there's something about him. We need to find out more. Start a background check in New Lost Wages. He must have been there and left a trail. All right. I'll take care of it. And, um, I may have told him a little too much about myself. What? Does he have better interrogation techniques than you do? Maybe I should hire him to find Faith. No, I have everything under control. I want to see some results. And toes! Hmm, let me put it this way. 
It's inhabited, at least. Be careful. That really doesn't look very inviting. Come on! What could happen to us here? I think it looks pretty cozy. I have a really bad feeling here. Oh, hello. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? It's... a... a man! Grab him! Hey, not so fast. Ow! Hi, do something! I'm in your pocket, damn it. What the hell am I supposed to do? They've taken Larry to a hut. What kind of women are those? They look dangerous. I'd better stay hidden. You're a little rough. Well, not that I'm complaining. But it all depends on the situation. Even more so in the 21st century than it used to be. The sensitivity training is finally having an impact. Damn. Quiet. I have to think. Hi, I'm Larry. <laughs> Laffer. Hi, I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Your name is of no importance. Be happy. Your death will not be in vain. It will be of great benefit to us, man. Trophy achieved. I found your panties on the beach. I found your panties on the beach. You can keep them. I was planning on it. But, Faith. Don't call me that. Here I am known as the Queen. Of course you're a queen, Faith. It's a good thing that you're submissive to me. there are only women on this island because we don't want to have any men here except on our plates wait a minute just to make sure there's no misunderstanding by plates you mean we eat men okay <laughs> then I understood it correctly <laughs> but why a holy book commands it I saw a tattered book out there is that the one you mean it contains all our tribal rules. It's been here longer than I have. The tribe's entire society is built on the rules found within it. And that book tells us how to deal with men. How did you end up here? I've always been here. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. You're Faithless, the boss. Uh, former boss of Prune Incorporated. And the future Mrs. Laffer. You can even have one of those modern double names. Faith Lafferless. Hmm. Although now that I've heard it... Quiet! I am the queen here. You will obey me. It doesn't matter how I got here. I'm here now. And so are you. But not for long. Faith, can't you remember anything at all? Not even me. I've never seen you before in my life. Worm. Uh. I've never made such a bad impression on a woman in my life. What is this place? This is our island. No man has ever set foot on it. Well... No man has ever left it. Our tribe lives here, secluded from the rest of the world. We live the way we want to live. Admittedly, the organization could still do with some work, but I'm on it. I also see room for improvement as far as monitoring the bay is concerned, Niwi. That was a misunderstanding on that thingy. That thingy is a scrum board, a and it can only help if we all use it. Can't we just talk it over? Miwi, we have to keep up with the times. We can be much more efficient with a modern organizational structure. So, cancel my appointments for today. I have to deal with the intruder. You have no appointments, my queen. 
let's go back to New Lost Wages. Where? New Lost Wages. Your former life. Everything could be the way it was before. You can even say boom. There's only one place I want to be. Here on this island. Together with my sisters. Let's go back to New Lost Wages. Enough. Lock him in the back. There's no meat on him yet. We'll have to fatten him up. And when he's fat enough, time for a feast. But Faith, you must remember. Prune, Timber, the explosion on Cancom. I thought I had lost you. I even lit a candle for you. I thought I would be forever without you. I... Enough. Take him away. <laughs> Mama Pizza, that would be uh, his lucky day, probably. I guess since I'm playing as him, I would say that would be my lucky day. Headquarters? Yes? I've located Faith. So, she's alive. When will you be back with her? I haven't been able to capture her yet. And there's another problem. Well? It would seem Faith has lost her memory. What? How can that be? I don't know, but she now believes she's the queen of a tribe of female cannibals. Huh? Oh, just wait. I thought I told you not to eat the loo. Oh, so where were we? Queen of a tribe of female cannibals. Exactly. She doesn't know who she is. So that means she doesn't know where her algorithm is either. Whoa, so it would be pointless to bring her here. They even managed to overpower that super agent Larry. How do you want to proceed? I'll keep observing. I suspect that Larry has already come up with some ingenious plan to escape and bring Faith's memory back. Hey, get down from there! That's a sex swing! No swinging without sex. Oh, on second thought, stay on it. I'll be done in a minute, baby. Right, Yanmai. Continue your surveillance. Surveillance is good. I have to go. Oh, someday I'm going to quit my job as a freelance deadly secret agent and look for something quieter. Interesting. And the cannibal girls confiscated some of my stuff. At least they didn't find everything. <laughs> Hi. Yes, Larry? The prison in New Lost Wages was cozier than this. Is that the only thing you're worried about? Of course not. It would have made me wonder, too, if you weren't thinking about why. Am I gonna have to eat man meat now, too? Uh, that is actually an astonishingly good question, Larry. But what do you want to do about faith? It's easy. We break out of here, get her memory back, and then she and I finally have wild sex. <sighs> What's this? <laughs> what? White clothes, gold necklace. Sir, could you by chance be a pervert? My name is Swingle, sir. I think I am the same as you, sir. A pervert. Oh, boy. This island just keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> I'm not a pervert, I'm an extraordinary... I just have extraordinary tastes. I'm not a pervert, I just have extraordinary tastes. But of course, sir, that's what I always say when I get arrested. No need to call me sir, I'm Larry. Master Larry, it is a pleasure to meet you, even if the circumstances could be more refreshing. You really can just call me Larry. Oh, sir, I would never even consider such a thing. Not even if things had become more intimate between us. Is that a diving suit? Oh, yes, it's perfect for diving in all kinds of liquids. Totally washable, sir. How'd you end up here? Well, 
I came to Kalua because I heard there was a place here where even the most extraordinary desires can be satisfied. They call it the Cavern of Cosmic Cognition. I like caves, sir. That definitely sounds interesting. Unfortunately, the cavern's location is a mystery, a myth of the archipelago. Supposedly, one gains a deeper knowledge of oneself when one enters the cave. And what else could that mean but multiple orgasms? You find the ultimate pleasure. Did you find it? No, but that's all right. Even if you do find the cave, you can't just enter it because you need a keystone. Seafarers scattered the pieces to the four winds here in the archipelago centuries ago. Did you hear that, Larry? That could be interesting. What? I, I kind of quit paying attention after the bit about extraordinary desires. Then I preferred to explore what pleasures Kalua and the other islands have to offer me, and ended up here. The ladies talk about feeding me up so that I can provide a festive meal. Hey, just like me. What's the deal with these cannibals? I don't know, sir. They do seem to be very committed young ladies. When I look at the interior decor, then they obviously didn't come on a ship. Okay. This is all very strange. Now you find it strange. Not everything else that has happened so far? Are you saying that you don't find the tribe of lesbian cannibals normal? I think you need sensitivity training. It would be better if you started looking for a way to get us out of here. Damn, the cannibal girls confiscated some of my stuff. At least they didn't find everything. <laughs> save or not but it would make sense you could break over but did it you know didn't want to take chances all right so we're this far into the game six hours in uh yeah oh my god Oh. All right. I'm going to call it here. Oh, my. I would like to thank Mama Pizza for coming in. Um, Suda TV for popping in. Duron for popping in. Gunner for popping in. Um, Toto for popping in. And anybody else who was lurking. Um... Thank you for watching. Um, hope you're enjoying this Let's Play of Leisure Suit Larry. Wet Dreams Dry Twice. Tomorrow I will be back. Uh, same game. And we'll be picking up where I left off. Um, in prison. In the jail cell. Next to a... Diving Suit... Pervert. That's all I got to say about that. So, yeah. Six hours. Wasn't playing about the stream of that long. <sighs> Excuse me. Alright. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you for part two. Feels weird. Because if this was still the other game I was doing, it would have been part 33. <laughs> or 34, technically. But anyway. Yeah, again, thank you for watching. See you hopefully tomorrow. Um, I'll be streaming in the early afternoon. Uh, well, in the afternoon sometime. So, anyway. 
think. Uh, yeah. See us. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how he's making thrusting like that in the uh, cage there. It's very disturbing. Why is this butt so round? Oh, God, I just... Oh, anyway.